windows restart. All right. Let's see if we still got our... Oh, everything's back. Everything? We still got our chrome tabs. That's good, too. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Check, check, check. Yeah. We're still working over there. Still working. Still outputting. Check. Check. <clears throat> oh, it's actually recording now. Fucking, let's start this again. <laughs> A little inside the walls here of the studio. <laughs> Not supposed to see that, folks. Oh, uh, we'll try again from the top. You know what I'm talking about, Jack. You got something by your side. You got something to get you through it. I got you by my side, Brian. Oh, yeah. Coming in hot, Brian. Oh. Hot and ready. It's been hot and we're coming in hot. I can't help it, babe. Uh, welcome to the show here. Welcome. Thank you. Let's hear it for the children of the grave. Yes. Children of the plague. The children of the plague. I always say that plague. wrong. I do too. It's the most asked about... Where is that song from on the PPS? You closed out last show or something. That's the most asked about band on the show. It's know. a good band. It's a 
it's interesting. Uh, the the uh, the the long history of playing uh, uncopywritten music that was given to me at a convention at like Pax 08, I believe. Wow. Free CD, you know, no gimmicks. Back in the good old days. Back in the good old days. Now you get handed a CD on the street. You're expected to hand ten dollars over, and they don't make change wow. if you only have a twenty. I hear. <laughs> Brian, welcome, and with other tips on how to get out of... I mean, that's what 15 years will do to you. A jam, you know, King Lord is here 2008, to help. the rules were different, and, it, you know, we're here. I like here. this chamber we have. Yeah, me too. Me too. I like, I like this, uh, I'm living in a world of remake Code Veronica. Yeah, you know, and I don't appreciate whoever put this sign up. This was uh -huh. given to me... Uh, why? Well, why uh, is because, yeah, I'm trying to, uh, you know, not... I mean, in the you're past. not letting people see the signs. I'm so. trying to. Well, what I'm trying to do, I don't know who put the fucking sign up, honestly, because I can't get to my stuff now. So I'm gonna let me solve the problem here for a second here. That's fine. We'll do that with the sign. Uh, you know, I have it now spelled correctly, as you can see behind you, Brian. Um, remake code Veronica, where when I cut the letters out, the N and the I, while being attached, were. <laughs> accidentally put upside down now they've been repair repaired they've been put in the correct oh, order the sign was on tv in the correct order oh god now i got uh I just love, I my friend love turtleverse Rocco. coming to boston <laughs> handing out uh you know remembrances of good old times it's not a good old time for me when i've transposed <laughs> the i in the end all right Perfect. <laughs> and I don't know if you got in here early and put this up, but I just didn't notice before. But that's why I couldn't get to some of my buttons oh, early. Fuck. Oh, what a what a sign. Yeah, yeah, sign of going God, out of business. I, I almost wish Rocco didn't say anything about it. <laughs> Rocco's a good friend to me. All and right. He did the right thing. Yeah, he did. You know, oh, it's like you. it's like when uh, he is a good buddy and he did the right thing and he he warned me. I said it before. It's it's like you know when when the option after getting shit on Ryan Dunn's face was jelly. <sighs> you know, he's a good friend. He's a good friend. Bam, I'm such a good friend of you. You're talking about fucking jelly. We didn't get up to many pranks on this tour. Uh, no, um, no. No running through the halls of a hotel in the nude, you know. Well, yeah, now you're, uh... I did kind of prance around oh shit, in my dude. underwear in front of Sean a lot. Well, you do that here. I try to tempt um, him. You, yeah. Uh, but you know what? I also forget that I see you all the time when I when I would go over to Eric's uh, room. Well, it's hot and in yeah, the summer. You'd, yeah, in the summer, you'd just be in your, your boxers. It's great. It's a great hang, you know. Yeah. In my house, the coldest I can get, it's like 82 degrees right now. <laughs> Me and the dogs, our tongues are hanging out. We're, yeah. We're hanging next low. to nothing. Got Trish, you know, skipping around. It's great. Oh, it's great, yeah. What a life I get to live, huh? Hey, guys. Hey guys. That's, uh, this now, just, 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 just. that was a couple weeks ago. You're now two removed from the tour two weeks removed exactly and now comic con is behind us so that's like another <laughs> fucking weight lifted off our back we're just, uh we're just back just back right just back into heels. like for me getting into the normal swing of my routine like i went to wrestling training yesterday and that was okay. the first time back after like a month okay. took it easy it was fine it was great um ankle held up yeah great i'm okay. taping it now you know i'm taping them both uh, and then I actually stopped wearing the brace around this week. I figured, like, once the tour nonsense is gone and, like, I'm just yeah back to hopefully stable ground. And I won't re-roll this fucker. Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, if you're I'm doing anything that, athletic, that just I wore it, it way longer this time. Good. But, and then, yeah, anything athletic, I'm just, without hesitation, I've got the tape. I can whip it up in, like, 15 minutes Yeah. on both of them. I really only need to do the left one, but I, I'm going to do both. Um, oh, let's check in with Mother Base's development. But yeah, now it's back to like uh, getting my Please weightlifting routine going again. That's good. Which I did uh, last night as well, and a little bit on Sunday night after Comic Con. Uh, but that like comes with my eating routine, so mm -hmm. I'm trying to like eat more again because I definitely wasn't hitting my goals on the road. Oh. Although at one of the, I gotta tell you, man, sheets 
over Wawa, big debate on like what gas station chain is better. Oh. The Sheets carried a protein bar that I'm a big fan of called a Bear Bell. Uh, just a really healthy, like one gram of sugar protein bar. Okay, cool. That I've never found in retail anywhere. I was ordering these offline because like my oh, buddy okay. gave them to me at his gym that stocks them. But yeah, I was I was surprised and I stocked up once we hit that Sheets and I found those. I was like. Oh, I'm buying like two of each flavor. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. That kind of helped me through, you know, the food deficit, the de the protein deficit I was definitely in for like the two weeks. But it's good, you know. Cycled off some of, you know, I wasn't taking creatine for two weeks. It's probably a healthy thing. Yeah. I've heard if you detox. take too much of that, it's not good for your hair staying in. Oh, uh, we'll, really? We'll see. I've never heard that. I mean, I think you got to take a lot. Oh, okay. Uh, sneaking suit. Uh, all my prime oh, day that's shit. Naked snake. All that came in, so I've had like. Oh yeah. A ton of stuff. Now I've like opened and unboxed, and. Now you got a shit ton more boxes. Yeah, well, and also it's like, okay, what am I doing with all this shit? Like, I gotta find places for all the stuff I ordered. The Resident Evil uh, 4K Blu-ray came out. Oh. Of Death Island. I I will watch that and report back to the PPS audience shortly. Yeah, let me know. What you I haven't had time that. yet, but they were I'm excited promoting for it that. on PlayStation today. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, as soon as I opened that fucker up, Trish saw that digital co uh, code. She's like, yoink. Yeah. So now that's like on our voodoo or whatever. Okay, cool. But I'm putting that thing on our new TV and watching it in 4K. HDR with. I don't know. This new TV has 120 hertz. I've never had one that does that. Oh, you got one of those? <clears throat> yeah, during Black for, uh during sorry, the Prime Day, uh, she ordered a ton of shit. Oh, okay. Uh, so we've been watching a bunch of the 4K Blu-rays on that new TV. Damn. Looks good. Am I running out of money? What was that? Equip? No. What was this? Unable to develop any more simultaneously. Oh, so I'm just oh, yeah, like your out resources of resources are out. Out of resources, mm -hmm. okay. Or you're limited by how many you can I currently. Think, yeah, my GMP is not in the red yet. It's crazy how much you got for starting the game. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. It yeah. kind of like it, kind of nerfed the game. Well, it it gave us a crazy advantage with like some of the seven star weapons we have out the gate. That's, like, not how I beat the game the first time. No. So, I'm, like I said before, try not to use that stuff. We were on the mission Red Brass last time, and we got a few of, you know, the objectives, but we never really completed it, and then it was kind of questionable if we back out, how are we going to come back in? Oh, I forgot. But I think it's a full, like, we did not, like, accept the mission. So what I'm curious about is, you know, I've got my strategy guide uh today i brought this out which man i was trying to think of the last game i bought a strategy guide for and it was probably this one. Oh yeah if i really love a game i still have to get a guide for it um i never liked them but i i, I never uh busted this out you know for the last like i don't know how old is this game now we said 2015 well i mean you probably pulled it out when you did the uh the last thing. Maybe when I was, like, actually, like, beating the game, finally. But, yeah. like, it never helped me when I was, like, doing all the FOB no. kind of, like, scrubbing that I would go through just to earn, like, I feel like resources. You... It wouldn't ever help me in, uh, you know, the lore and shit was cool. It did help me a lot when I found all hundred animals or however many animals yeah. are. Now that I'm looking at that. Um, I feel like when when you platinum the game was the last time you probably probably used bust this. this out. So yeah. I, I I didn't have this out in a while, but I forgot what a good presentation this was. Oh yeah, the collector's edition. I have some good art books uh, too. I think Dark Horse put those out. Yeah. I don't know if Dark Horse does, did this you know, as well though. You know, uh, I think you might have this too. But Konami Digital Entertainment. I don't have yeah. many art books, but I got one. Uh, it's got for a map. Prometheus. Ooh. From Rocco. Like, when the movie came out. Okay. And that one, I mean, it's Geiger shit, so it's awesome. <clears throat> but it's like, it's actually a nice book. It's like a, a nice flip drive. I, I never read those books. I just look at the pictures, and if there's something there, I might read like three sentences. But um, 
But yeah, okay. every time I catch it on my shelf, I kind of pull it out and look at it because that movie had some fucking awesome visuals. I did love like Ridley Scott's return to the Alien franchise. Yeah, it kind of it kind of like dissipated as those movies kind of went on. Yeah, because there's but what Prometheus, three of those new ones. But yeah, Prometheus was like I still liked. It's great. I still love that movie. I still love the opening of that movie. Yeah, it didn't break the mold. It didn't need to. It, it was a fun, cool sci-fi movie with awesome effects. For sure. It honestly, the only the only thing that ruined it was that our ruined it. it didn't really ruin it but the only thing that i felt was heavy on the story was the end where they tie it into the alien directly you know like the, after the credits they show the scene of the alien oh being yeah, yeah, born, yeah or the the first alien being born of it the and it's deacon like, it was like i, I don't they know they called him the yeah. deacon yeah still but, looked so different than like <laughs> a traditional xenomorph yeah well, thanks jackie which i appreciated but I thought it was cool. Like, we knew where they went with it, uh, is how I felt. and uh, For sure. And it's cool. Uh, now, I wanted to uh, just say, you know, we were going into these missions not really knowing what to do. Right. Now, I was reading up in the book before we got started here, the actual objectives. We've got Winsock Barracks. We got the Spookmay Keep. Uh, we got two dudes driving from each of those locations to the... Dewalo Kale Village. Right. To meet a third guy. There's a meeting of these three dudes. So we can go just to the village, over see the meeting take place, and then snatch all three, you know, at once, catch them off guard. Or I like you know, I, I do kind of remember like being able to red uh, or uh, uh, S rank this okay. red brass mission by like going to the north guy, then riding on the horse to the second guy, and then going to the middle and getting the third guy out. So you can do them kind of bing, bang, boom. Yeah. I don't know what I'll try. I'll try maybe for the S rank, and then we'll see, you know, how it shakes out. Uh, but I wanted to listen to Kazuhira's briefing tape because this is really how I enjoyed playing the game, was getting, right. you know, his, like, lore dump. So for this one where there is, like, a specific objective, this I'm going to turn this up. Guerrilla faction in Afghanistan. They've gotten wind of a rare meeting between three Soviet commanders running key units in the region. The location is Viala Village. This information comes from a mole planted within the Soviet's Arab support organization. Uh. The guerrillas see this as a one-of-a-kind chance to weaken the Soviet forces in one stroke. But if they act themselves, it'll expose the existence of their mole. That's why this job falls to us. The request is simple. Eliminate the three pigs Ooh. by any means. If these commanders are as good as they say, it'd be a shame to kill them. But I leave that decision up to you. So that's where we take them. Yeah, that's that's what I did. We take them back home. We take them back to Mother Base. Right? I, re I really, I only killed whoever they forced me to kill. Yeah. I think, again, it's like <laughs> under 70 <laughs> total deaths in my mm -hmm. MGS5. Now let me know, uh, let me and Brian know in the chat later if we have to adjust the volume back down since I am turning shit up and down. Yeah. And, and it's weird, this new exploit update doesn't give me numbers. It's like a slider. It's like, oh, it used to give me percentages. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> used to give me a nice percentage. So, uh, Brian, I don't know uh, if you saw here, I, I have an old bag of G.I. Joes my parents made me clean out of their house. Made you? Yeah, they made me. Yeah, dude, my parents are going to hold my shit till I die. So this is, um, I don't know what this dude's name is. He's got, his rubber band's barely fucking hanging on, but he's he's the dude up at the Windsock Barracks. And then we got... Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, this, wow. This pilot guy, this guy, he's got like a big... Airman's flight. I never had on. like these GI Joes. These <sighs> articulate like really well. Careful, he's. he's I, I don't. I'm not gonna feel bad when his rubber band goes, but it's ready to go. Oh yeah, no, I'm not moving them. He's too down much, here. But... At, he's at the de, doc de Calejo village. No, the. Uh, well, he's at the. He's at the South Pole, right? All right, this guy's at the North Pole, and then old. We got half a ninja here. He's, All right. He's got a little face mask. Looks like Jar Jar. Yeah, Jar Jar is sitting here. It's kind of like dismantled 3PO, you know, when yeah. he's on Chewbacca's back. He represents the guy in the middle. We're going to pop their asses. So Let's take him back to Mother Base, baby. Okay, this makes sense now, right? Yeah. Where are we dropping? All right. <clears throat> Windsock first, and then I'm going to rush down to Spoogme, and then we'll come back to the village. Let's drop in. It's warm where we're dropping in. Look at that horse. It's warm here. My, My horse! horse. <laughs> what kind of equipment we going with? You know it's going to get dirty. We have barely a suppressor. The Grom would be good for 
Are you blowing anything up in this one? Uh, I mean, there's a chopper, I believe. I think there's a, a enemy chopper. Is this the one with the chopper, or was that the one you just did? Mm, you're right. That was where the bees sleep. Shield? Pubic shield? I don't remember. Do we use the, pu the pubic shield? Oh, look. That's got our little chick. Special chick. Yeah. <clears throat> I it's don't like, think we need the shield. It's like what it says on my order when I go to Chick-fil-A. Um, <laughs> special chicken. You... Because I say no mayo. You want no mayo? You don't get mayo. Okay, those are killer weapons. Uh, fuck. I would love something non-lethal in a sniper rifle. We're going to make that as soon as we can. Yes. You this do is, have that. This is too much of an advantage, though. We could just jam the car with this, and then it takes them all. Actually, all right. maybe I can't do web vehicles yet. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what that gun, like, what level it is. We're keeping the Grom in case, you know, in case the shit really hits the fan. Let's go back to the bionic arm. Stun arm? Eh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. I'll learn how to use that. Support weapons, I think we're all good. We get the highest levels of what we need. Do I have anything new? No. Oh, wait a minute. What about placeable? Capture cage, that's new. D, anti-personnel directional mine. Okay, this is not equipped? It is now. We didn't have the claymores equipped? Maybe we just made them, Brian. Uh, maybe. Must have been. Had to have been. We got a box. We got a cigar. Uh, what's left? That's all we need. The horse is how you interrupt the cars in the road to stick your horse there. Oh, yeah, you could, like... You could also have them poop in the road, and then they spin. Oh, I never did that. <laughs> I, I, think I had I them, did. like, poop somewhere, and then somebody goes and, like, slips in it or something. I'm all bloody, dude. I need a shower. I know. Uh, we are going to take Discord calls. Yes. The Discord is always the place to be. If you want to talk to Brian and I... If you had a good time, if you want to wrap up Comic-Con, or uh, you just want to keep chatting about our little mm -hmm. farewell tour, hit yeah. us up. The chat, it's always good to see you. The wheel is in play. Check the Lazy Boy Lounge out for the yeah. IRL Twitch chat. You ready? You For the thousands in attendance. For the millions watching online. Then. Oh, uh, then. Uh, let's get ready to suck it. Are you ready? Uh, I'm fucking ready, dude. I'm ready. No, no. You got fired, so you... <laughs> this tape is in this game. You got fired, so you drown yeah, your sorrows it. in... <laughs> Okay, I'm looking like a killer. Looking like a killer. We're gonna go. Like a thriller. We're gonna go right away to the map, and we're gonna set an objective point for the top. See, it's it said all three of those commanding officers' names. Yes. They got the they got the fancy berets. Fuel enemy for a good feel of movement. Let's go for. Oh well, shit, we're gonna land right there. Get the G. Let's go to A. Let's go to A. Rocco told me and you earlier that a new Raymond video dropped. You saw yeah. this? You saw this earlier today too? Yeah, well, it, I, it might have come out like over the Oops. weekend. I don't I, I don't know when it came out, but it, it was it was in the last three, four days. After obviously, you know, the big uh, Barbie and Oppenheimer opening weekend. Uh, Barbenheimer. Right? Yeah. Fever has struck our nation. Oppenheimer. All the fucking everything. Um, but anyway, uh, both of those movies came out. I made time to see Barbie. Uh, Raymond, I don't know if he saw both, but he did see Oppenheimer. Um, and he said in this uh, YouTube short, which he, of course, he still does YouTube shorts. Um, yeah, he's, he's like active on his channel, which yeah. is good to see. He was praising the movie. It's, he it's was saying see that. He was saying that um, Oppenheimer was like the Michael Jackson of bomb making. <laughs> so... I love that. Michael Jackson is yeah, like the and Michael Rocco was telling, Jackson of bomb making. Rocco that is a telling, good quote. Telling you earlier about it too, and I'm and I'm so happy that that 
I, I, I said this to Rocco too. I'm like, I'm so happy that was also your takeaway line from that video. <laughs> the Michael Jackson of bomb making. <laughs> it really is. You he know. did make the mother of all bombs, and uh, you know, arguably Michael Jordan is, uh, or Michael the Jackson goat? is the goat. Oh shit. Well, you know? what's this guy's problem? Did he say Michael Jordan? I don't know. I can't remember. Now. Rocco told us Michael Jackson. He said Michael. I trust. I trust Rocco. I might be mixing it up in my head because I wanted it to be Phil Jackson. Let's let's take him back. The coach oh, of the L.A. Lakers. In the They're world. on high alert. Yes. Uh, no. Keep my fucking rocket launcher, please. Just take this guy. Just pick him up. Oh. Brian, I can't, would you believe, remember a button? It's, it's because the weapon's, like, right over him that I can't pick him up, right? Uh, is I it circle just, to pick him up? It's gotta be. Is this the, isn't this the guy uh, you need? No. Oh. I was just gonna save him, but there's a roof over him, so I was trying to move him, but now he's gonna bleed out. I so, would kick him and see if he moves. Your fault, guys. You made this happen. Yeah, there you go. That's even better. So I sure came in loud. Oh, you cannot pick up injured. Oh, I can't move him his ass over? I guess not. Heal up. Oh, from behind. Oh, shit. Okay. That's good. That's good. I wanted this. I want another shot at infiltrating. For real now. Let's put on some night vision goggles and get at it. Let's try. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't trying before, Brian. That's right. Whoa, is that a little puppy dog? Where? Do you see D-Dog already? Yeah, wasn't he just ran around. past him? Take a look. On your left? My left? Yeah, don't you hear him? I do hear that, but I don't I see him. I think he's towards the horse. I don't remember this early in the game. Uh, seeing. There oh, are. there he is! What's up? Look at this cute baby. Hi, yeah, we can baby. get him. Well, let's get him. You're coming home. We'll see you back on base, soldier. What a puppy. That's cr I don't remember getting him that early. I don't I remember if, how you get him, to be honest. I wonder if Kaz will talk to us already. I'm glad you pointed that out. I was, like, not paying attention at all. Yeah, all of a sudden there was, like, a, a I, I saw a dog there, and I'm like, I don't remember puppies being in this game. Oh, it's so fucking bright. This ain't gonna work. No, it's daytime. You can't use night vision goggles. Well, you can when they're level 9. If you have the good ones, you could just see outlines well, of Yeah, dudes. but you didn't want to use the good ones. Yeah, well, we no, we don't have them. Oh. We don't have them. You only have good ones for certain items. But let's see. Let's see about taking our time. Yeah. So there's one guy there. Ooh, we do have some Analysis Discord callers who want to start uh, funneling them in. I could take a Discord call for sure. sure. Let's talk to Fops. What's up, Fops? Fops, how's it going? Doing great, man. How you been? We're good. Good to talk to you. We're all right, man. We're experiencing some um, some radiant heat waves coming Fuck, through. Man, it's hot. It's been it's been for sure. It's been red yeah. hot. I've been sweating balls. Oh. With a capital B. Yeah. <laughs> but where are you calling in from, Fops? Uh, the Valley, the 818. Oh, you're oh, 818? Oh, yeah. Never mind, sorry. You're you're in yeah. the shit too, brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh my this god. This is where all the heat settles in. Now, so, in the Valley, it. it doesn't get cold at night, does it? In the Valley? Not really, no. So it's yeah, like, the, heat, it the city like, traps the heat, right? Like what, 105 today, and then now it's like 90? That sounds about right, yeah. Boy, they. I yeah. mean... It's worse though, cause like it could be 80, but it feels like 90. Ugh. You know, like it, it's just bad. I caramba. The the number one thing yeah. about San Diego. Let's see. Today the high was 90. It was 90 today. Yeah, I take the dogs out like either real early or like almost. Like even after dark though, it's still like 85 degrees. Yeah, it ta it takes a little to 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 dissipate, but where we are now, the high was 90. And then um, the low is going to be 67. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure you guys get more of that breeze coming in from, like, the Sometimes. Ocean. We don't At get night, none of that. If, if yeah. you, like, open yeah, up certain the parts of town. And if you open up, like, the right um, the right windows, 
in your house and get yeah, like cross breeze going. Yeah, it, it works pretty fast. Um, and so like I bank on that so yeah, often and it works base. really well. But uh, when you're in the valley, you can't really work on that. Dude, Mother Base no. is like yeah. developing. <laughs> oh man! You hear all this shit Mother Base is making for me? Yeah, dude. You complete. put so much development before we went out. Let's let's see what it is. Please I hope nobody project. sees you while you're checking your phone. Nah, dog. We're we in <laughs> development. We handle it. We handle in business. I, as the CEO of the Mother Base organization, I gotta be on. Yeah, that's true. I gotta be on my Palm Pilot, you know. Looking just like a real corporation, you're a figurehead oh. of the actual person who runs it. Don't give me the supply drop. I don't. I think I asked for a supply drop. Oh. Of what I just made. I make all these shields. But Fops, uh, yeah. I'm sure you didn't call to talk to us about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, it's always fine. I love I'll to open with a nice, small yeah. talk kind of conversation. A nice weather sure. chatter is always healthy. Yeah, I mean, it's been definitely worse for the dogs than it is for me, though. Yeah. Um, my dogs have been That's barking. Like problem. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you got to walk them at night. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I, I called in because I know you were on Analysis tour complete. recently. Uh, I got to see you at Anime Expo oh, just very on the cool. Saturday. Um, and then we did stick around for the DJ set. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, thank really you. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That that was awesome, man. I think you're the only DJ I've ever heard play uh, like Ramstein, uh, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Bro, I dropped '96 but, quite better beans yeah. in that set. Yeah. I had some Ramstein out there for sure. Yeah, dude. Uh, I had a, I had fun. I just um, pulled out my my thumb drive that I recorded the sh the sets on, and I was listening to the second night, the Saturday. Um, set and uh fuck dude too many fucking skips though i was realizing like oh my god really? I, in the middle fucking two hours or whatever i i think i skipped several times every other song oh uh, really yeah the okay. stage you know some like the stage the first night i had like no skips yeah fucking solid right the one on you know the other night maybe there's other people around too but like the stage was kind of wonky and the table maybe mm. didn't sit. so when i walked in certain places or i was hitting the bpm tap uh. on my mixer to like sync my my bpm or find out what a certain song would be at sure even me tapping the thing was like skipping records you so i was listening to that back and i was like oh i skipped a lot so what i know it's not a big deal but you know i maybe, I, maybe your tone arms a little light I, I even have it extra heavy, like, you know, I'm putting, like, three ounces on it. Huh. Which I only need, like, 2.5. But when I'm live, yeah, I put an extra half ounce. Right, right. Yeah, you don't want it to skip. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's weird. just, like, walking around on the stage. Anyway, I'm glad you were there, though. That was a fun... Yeah. That was a fun uh, little dance party for a while. It kind of came and went. It was a lot of fucking uh, fun for me. You know, I had a really good time. Yeah, I, I could definitely tell, like, the vibe was right. You had all your... I didn't expect this, but you had all your PPS sound effects there, which oh, I thought yeah, was really baby. funny. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I so loved there was it. never a dull moment, yeah. <laughs> so I was listening back to uh, the Saturday Night set, like I was saying, and there's one point where I'm like, I'm hitting this fucking... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, over and over and over, and I'm like, oh, what was I do What am I doing? Like, I'm overusing it. Oh, that was when everyone was dancing around in a circle and going, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So then I started hitting it and sync. So, like, there was a good, like, 45 seconds during this one breakdown of a song where it's just, yeah, yeah. I was That's like, I don't know funny. if this is going to sound good in the upload, but in the moment, in the It'll room, in the room, it was a lot of fun. Oh, for sure. Like, I, I had a few clips on my phone that I recorded. Of, like, there was somebody in an inflatable Pikachu, like, yeah. costume dancing around. And you can hear that, yeah, sound effect <laughs> really audibly. Like, everything else dies out when you play that. <laughs> That's like, great. Yeah, I pumped that fucker get, up. I was so, it was so funny. I was tr spending, like, a lot of time trying to isolate that. Because I know it's, Subject like, you can't get that sound effect. Um, yeah. From, it, I think you got it from some app that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, the app is now yeah. like it was one of the first versions of iPhone apps, you know, Brian. That like yes, certain soundboard. ones. Soundboard. They didn't. They never converted them to whatever the new 64-bit version was or whatever. Yeah, it was Jackie the Joke Man. I got a lot of people on tour asking me, "Hey, what is the yeah? What yeah. is the yeah sound effect? Where does it come from?" You know, I get that question a lot, but 
on tour we got that uh, a couple cities <laughs> i'm always happy to explain it was yeah, it was uh, jackie martling <laughs> i thought that was really funny uh i wanted to ask you though because since you're the only dj i've ever heard kind of play that kind of music that unusual unique mix of music Sure. I wanted to know if that was like a thing that you always planned on doing as a DJ or if that just came secondary to, oh, oh I'm going to DJ stuff and then trying to figure out what music to play versus yeah. I want to mix this kind of music. Because most of my friends that do DJing are definitely doing like the more dance EDM stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, I really got a kick out of the 80s room at this goth club I used to go to that had like several areas but you know I liked the industrial area and that was like a little more dancey but I really liked like the 80s kind of like just it wasn't it it wasn't about BPMs it was just more about a vibe yeah and that was kind of like what I that was the first kind of nightclub environment that I ever found myself in so I think that's what I was like oh I want to do that I want to learn how to do that and then just like being on the PPS and getting, you know, my first little Hercules DJ mixer, started like playing with the MP3s, you know? And then like hanging out with my buddy Mauricio, you know, Maui from Rockin' Pins. And uh, he just had a cool panel out at Fle uh, Fleischer Studios panel at Comic-Con. Yeah. I went to, it was a lot of fun. I was happy to see that he had a panel. Uh, but I hooked up with him and some of his friends and started seeing them, like, playing all that dark wave gothy shit, uh, kind of mixed in with the industrial shit, um, but on real record players. And, like, that's what I wanted to pursue, where I kind of, like, taught myself how to use these DJ controllers, which I still use for the tour, and that's, uh, oh, you know, yeah. something that calls for that type of equipment. I'll use that stuff. But for DJing, like, I do, like, you saw it out at Anime Expo. Yeah, it's, I want to do vinyl. Just, I had three fucking turntables. I had my third 45 player just to mix and scra oh. or just a scratch on, I should say. That's cool. Which I thought I was a little heavy handed, and the, but you know, I was, I was having fun playing. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you definitely got to pick what records you're going to use because it's not easy traveling with those, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of limited too and then uh, both nights I got like extra time so it was like, holy shit, I I'm running out of fucking songs. Like, we got to get really? creative okay. here. But yeah, you know, I try to keep a good mix of like some video game music, some anime music and then, you know, my kind of dark wave aesthetic uh, and then I just, you know, throw in the sound effects and the little scratch and kind of making it fun. Uh, I even throw in like comedy records. Like I played some Carlin. Oh yeah. And and some Cheech and Chong over like you know certain you know dance '80s songs that just have like an extended cut. Just start scratching in like a fucking Cheech and Chong sketch. That's I, but fun. I'm that's the thing. I guess uh you know I never planned on doing it. I am kind of just making this up as I go along, and that's that's given me a sort of style. For sure. Um, yeah, it probably keeps it fun, too. Sure. Yeah, for me, uh, it, it does. It definitely does. I don't take it too seriously. I mean, I'm a little ticked off when I realize, like, oh, my God, I fucking had, like, 14 skips because I was moving around too much. Like, But that's just, like, for me, I go, oh, all right, next time I'll get it better. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you might just be a little more self-critical than people in your audience might be. Yeah. I, I just hate. I hate. It. Sometimes yeah. some songs skip on the beat to where the lyrics will kind of skip ahead, but the beat stays on. So then it's like, fine. It's almost like, yeah. oh, that was cool how that worked. But then other times it's not, and it, and you lose like, oh, fuck. I lost the whole section. Um, so this fucking Brian yes. has taken us longer than it probably should have. And I don't feel like we've gotten our, our, our first man yet. No. But he's supposed to be here. You don't have any of the companions yet, do you? Like, no Z Dog, no Wyatt. No, not yet. Maybe this is it. You got a shotgun. A shotgun. Show yourself. Oh, I broke a bone. Yeah, that's a serious injury. I got slow mo time until I heal, so I'll use it to my advantage. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
I feel like I fucked up this mission too. Like this guy didn't come here, or he he ba he bailed before uh, we got here. I don't know. I feel like we gave up uh, our position, and then he takes like a jeep out of here. We really got to get in early. Let me restart. Oh, that's take a screenshot. That's not. Nice. Uh, but Fops, hey, thanks again for calling yeah. in. But thanks for uh, yeah, coming out to see me spin records, man. That was a that was like a dream of mine to play an expo as big as Anime Expo, and I really got treated very well and had a great time. Dude, oh yeah, cool. it was for sure a fun time, especially like a break from the massive sweaty crowd in <laughs> Anime Expo, just getting to like relax up there <laughs> for a little. That's while. cool. Uh, I do like and, the vibe. Yeah. Uh, being kind of relaxing because one thing that stuck with me that some of the sound guys told me they were like wow what a relief I've had four days of 182 beats per minute yeah you know jungle and and anime themes and like EDM oh my God. they're like oh you just played you know this fucking uh, whatever Sisters of Mercy song and I can take a breath that was great you know? that's awesome I was like okay oh, yeah, glad glad that it fits uh, it's definitely like and, and a certain I, percent I of the like audience a, clicks with it and like then a lot of them too, are just right? like alright this is an anime con but this is I can vibe <laughs> but thanks for calling in Fops yeah Oh yeah, man. Always sure, man. It was a great time. Uh, if you if you're ever doing another DJ set or anything in Los Angeles, I'll be sure to stop by again. You know, it was really fun. Yes. Hey, my buddy Syntho. I'm gonna. Uh, he's been DJing with me forever, and he's my guy who got me into Anime Expo Chibi and thusly yeah. Anime Expo. But he's been doing a new show. He's looking for a new location up in LA. And uh, I told him, like, yo, even if I can come do visuals, because I'm starting to get into that, like, I want to be there. So I will be tweeting about that stuff as it happens. And, yeah, Fops, uh, mm -hmm. I'll let you know when I'm in the L.A. Oh. area. Sure, and could I do a last-second wheel spin? Oh, yeah, Ooh, baby! Good call. Yeah. Here we go. Let's let that timpani build. Let's let it build to a great thunderous roar, if you will. Timpani of the night. What sweet music it makes. Okay, ready, Brian? Oh, yeah. I'm fucking oh, ready. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm ready for feet. Ooh, I'm ready. Okay, ready, Brian? I wore sandals just for it. Here we go. Here we go. V has come to show us feet. Timeline vids. Now, timeline vids for you, Fops, are going to be coming at you after this quick commercial break. We'll be oh, right back. We sure right. do love you. Oops. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> she had to get a part-time job working at grocery store cash register. Only reason she could earn a wage at all is the manager liked how she looked in a skirt. You remember, right? Exactly ten months back. You got fired so you drowned your sorrows in booze. No <laughs> wage at all. <laughs> Exactly ten months back. So I just don't know why I come in the office and this is hanging up. What do you mean? I mean, I know you saw it and you thought it was funny, but I, I know it's like a sore spot on me to have it spelled wrong. You're the one with the sore spot. I know, but it's you don't have to push the buttons. You know? I, what? It's a funny Hold thing. On, is he, to make sure your mic's not on. I, it's not on. Okay, okay. I just don't know, like, if we can't, you know, have this in, in the office even if it if it could it's be outside in the hallway funny. or something. It's funny. I know you think it's funny, but if you keep it. Open. I don't just think it's funny. Everybody thinks it's funny. You're the it's only one who doesn't think it's funny. Fox wants a wheel spin, and this thing's like in here. Oh, yeah. Again, after I put it outside. I'm 
you're not the one who got it on tour. You're on tour. I didn't know it was you or whatever, but it's funny. It's funny. Turtle Bird takes the funny too, though. I don't. I mean, it's spelled right. I don't know. Jesus. Hi, my own ear. Hi, my own ear. Okay, we're coming back. Brian and I were just doing a little skit. A yeah. Little, a little sketch there. Hi, how'd you like it? It's not over. How do you like it uh, so far? Uh, who's crying? Is that... Is Fop still on the phone? Okay, well, let's just get to the wheel spin. Okay. Uh, timeline vids, Brian, you heard it. Yes. Can you? Oh my God! Can you shut up, lady? God. Come on, Lisa. Is that a baby? Quiet. It fucking sounds like the eraser head baby. Ugh. Mm. Uh, quick business. A uh, business before pleasure. Always. Brian, it's time for the Mega Sixty Four. Kawaii anime merch drop. Oh, what? Ooh, ooh. Um, ooh, ooh. Pa uh, Papa san. I don't think that's. I, I don't know. That's probably not. That's outdated. Um, ooh, ooh, senpai. You can get the new shirt. Play a fucking sound bed or something. You can get the new shirts right now. I'm wearing one, baby. Look at how fitting and form factoring. This Very is. nice. Hi, my own ear. Very uh, good looking. This is the Chet Possum Presson and the Harry Connick Sr. Yes, Harry. You love him. You, you sure do like to see him. And then I see Brian in the top right corner. Could that be real? I don't know what that is. That's a secret Does surprise it? shirt that you got to go to the website, shop.mega64.com. Ooh, woo, senpai. Big if real. Big if real. Ice cream's so good. Grab, uh, you grab. wanna check out Rebecca Milk? What's doing under the cuffs? You wanna see how Audio Technica orders her burger? It's medium. Well done. There it is. You got the Do It Goku shirt. You got the cool anime panel and details. You got the secret mystery shirt. What else do you want from us? I don't know. It's too too high pitched. Too low now. Hey, hey, hey. That's just right, right there. Goldilocks. Okay, Brian, uh, so that's not what we're supposed to just only be showing. Right. Let's confirm whatever Microsoft Edge is making us okay, do. Okay, yeah. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, I'm going to just jack your mouse. Is that cool? Yeah, dude, you can jack, jack your mouse. mouse. <laughs> timeline vids. Well, I did want to show off uh, the Mega64 timeline here and that. The uh, merch drop is going to be available very soon. You're going to want to go there. Um, in fact, it might be live now. Who, who am I to say? Who are you to know? What is that? All the weed you need. Dude, right now Twitter's Jesus Twitter's Christ. got so much fucking like... I get Cheech and Cheech Chong, and Chong showing Chong me their gummies. All the <laughs> time. Yo, our gummies are all legal. All the time. You guys never made a movie about gummies. What are Jesus you talking about, Christ. our gummies? <laughs> Rocco Bodie entering the room. Yeah. Are, are Cheech and Chong, excuse me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Are Cheech and Chong brand gummies legal? I think that they Cheech are. and Chong's, Acor they're legal? According to their favorite. Oh my God. Uh, well, I had this whole legal stash, but I, I didn't know that they were legally in the clear. It's here, man. Their favorite oh gummies are now yeah. legal. I've been watching legal proceedings all day, and I was trying to get an answer, but fucking Mitch McConnell's just like. <laughs> He's voting for Hillary. Who knows what Mitch is. He's, that's exactly what he does. I think he took the gummies. Oh yeah, he God. probably did. Oh, but I didn't know they were legal. You okay, thank you guys were, yeah. so much. Yes. Gonna, you found oh, out they I were legal. I thought it broke the law, and I wasn't going to say anything about it, but now no, they're No, no, while you, they're legal. while you're here, and while we got you, and while you are, you know, <laughs> legally <laughs> medicated by yeah. all, all, you get all the uh, weed you need. Anyway, we were talking about the cool anime yeah. drop. Is this live now? It's live right it's, now. It's oh, out. It is it out today. right now. You yeah. can get it right uh, at the moment. Shop.mega64.com. My, my, one of my favorite shirt designs we've ever done is that one that is currently blurred out. Oh, yes. Uh, can't show that all over social media, but that 
we brought it to Anime Expo, and that was a huge hit. Huge hit. We, we've had it online before, but we, we bring it up and we take it down. Yep. And it will happen again, so get that if you never if got it If you before. want. Uh, it's so funny. The, the one I'm wearing right next to it, too. Two of my favorite shirts we've done in the past several yes, years. I agree. I DJed both nights in one of these. And one of those. Uh, nice. I, I had to represent on stage. Nice. So what? Thank you for your shirt choice. Th uh, you're welcome. I love the attention to detail. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> um, now, don't step on that um, remake Veronica thing that keeps ending up in my office what? out there. What? I'm just saying, like, if you, I mean, well, if you step on it, whatever. Sorry, I just uh, had some Cheech and Chong gummies. Did you, uh, oh, did, did you drop that or did I? Uh, Brian, the legal gummies are they now are with legal. us. Thank you, uh, thank you, Rocco. Thank you for joining so us. Um, How come we're not playing Portable Ops? We beat Portable Ops. We we finished oh. that one. We're doing um, Phantom Pain. Well, we're kind of not. We're fucking around and watching timeline videos. On, yes. on my Twitter right now for Fops. I don't know if you know Fops. Um, Is that, are you gonna do the the next? campaign in Resident Evil 6? No? Uh, maybe, uh, you know, come Halloween time, we might do that again. Thank you. Thank you again for coming by. Okay. I love having them around. Uh, so, now, you know, here's my timeline. Alright, the 4U tab, it's fucking dangerous. Alright. Yes, it is. I'm gonna get Republican Whoa. shit. Look at this. Biden's kissing fucking little kids or something. It's gonna be it's going to be dark-sided stuff, you know? I kind of think of the dark web as the For You tab. That's kind of how I view sure. the For You tab now. It's like the <laughs> Silk Road. What could happen in the For You tab? I don't know. Could be fucking crazy. Could be Biden kissing fucking... I don't know. Who are these? Do you know these people? I don't know. I'm not going to read. You think I'm going to read? <laughs> okay, what else? We got... Oh, look at this. Afterlight Games. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got a new video. Yes. Hidden details in the Delta teaser. Wow, I want to see that. Grant's got uh, something. The Thought Cops are back up in production. I saw Ooh, that, Brian. That's good. But I'm just telling you, the For You tab, it's dangerous. So I try to stay, I try to remember, stay on following. Yeah, as, as often what as What kind of can. good shit? Are, uh, we got a video here. About of, just uh, letting water run through it. Booker. I mean, opening up your. Okay, she's ranting. I don't know exactly. Uh, that's, that's Nirvana the Band? This is? It's an animated Nirvana the Band? These are videos in my timeline, folks. This is what Fops <laughs> rolled in the wheel. I don't know. We could come up on um, some good things or you know, some some not good things. I don't know Nirvana the band. I never watched the show. Oh, it's funny as hell. Yeah, I I, I feel like everyone said that. Oh my God! There it is. <laughs> Brian, the gummies are legal. <laughs> Finally. Oh look at Vampy bit me. He's in a, that U.S. Mecca. That's crazy, dude. Does that thing Whoa. stomp around? These aren't really timeline vids. These are like timeline images. Oh, here's a vid. Fuck yeah. What the fuck is this? Oh, it like crab walks around. Make this it is, move. This is what we will fight the next wars in. Make Brian. it move. This sucks. We'll fight the next wars in these giant woolly mammoths. They didn't do shit. Fucking yeah. Carnival Ride does more than that. It's an expensive little Okay, hold on. Here ride. we go. All right, it, it walks around. I don't know, whatever. Well, bring that into a fight, you're gonna get your ass kicked. Slugs art, Arcolect. I still follow Arcolect. This fucking this account's been around since Twitter's been fucking created, which it's funny now that it's dying. And yeah, uh, it's staying the same. Yeah, I'm just riding. I'm riding the wave. I ain't trying anything new. Still haven't got threads. I don't see many timeline videos. Oh, we were talking here. My new buddy. Oh, twin he, snakes. He asked about the twin snakes. I'm a snake eater from way back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marone. Those are <laughs> hey. good. Uh, well, uh, what else do we got? What else do we got in the timeline, vids? Uh, All right, some fucking uh, there's Mitch, Mitch McConnell. McConnell. Rocco said something about that. Wait, aren't there like UFO fucking conferences being held right now? They just said. Uh, Vin Diesel selling street sharks. I remember I seen dude, video of this promo. Fuck? You got to get the new street sharks, brother. How he didn't end up a wrestler is beyond me. I mean, he just created his own wrestling federation. Yeah, called the Fast and the Furious? Exactly. <laughs> What's this, a game announcement? Armored Core, baby! I'm oh, fucking playing yeah. this. I'm so excited From Software is back with uh, something that's finally easier to control. <laughs> 
uh, but a bunch of streamers, a bunch of uh, people who stream from games are already have like full copies of the game. They're, sh they're allowed to stream it and everything. Oh. So you can watch people play. Um, I'm excited to see what's new. But I already watched this trailer, and just from this trailer, I was just excited. I spent huh. so much game. It's like Metal Gear for me, you know what I mean? I spent so much time in the fucking loadout screen and not playing the game. <laughs> You can do that forever in Armored Core. You just, like, make your mech and fuck with the weight to, you know, oh, weapon ratio yeah. and all that shit forever. All right, so I think we suffice. We did a little commercial. We did some timeline bids. We got to get back to the fucking... We got to finish a mission. I'm restarting this one. Because I know our first gentleman is at the Windsock Barracks. I just know it. We'll go in. We'll find and scout for the man in the red beret. We could go side mission off, get some refugees rescued, then go meet all three of them in the center. Just, you know, I'm antsy. All that time, and then what if you set the alarm off? Uh, I guess they're already all centered in one location. Throw a big ass sleep grenade in there, you know what I mean? Toss it up. Do I have those yet? I love those. Yep. Smoke, I don't. Stuns, yes. That gets the job done. Gotta remember decoys. Gotta remember to. S this is a sneaking mission. bet there's a way in. Let's hear what Kaz has to say. Okay. Material containers, material containers. Here's the building. This is where, like, I think our first guy is. Yeah, what's the best way around? There's B. This looks like one guy out front. Oops. This is the guy who goes straight for that tower. I don't remember anyone else being out here. But we could sneak in through the back if we just kind of come up that route to that outpost. If we can get high enough. Oh, oh yeah, there might be like a little pressure to cr uh, climb up. Yes. I oh, there you go. Fucking little... remember that. Is this the fissure? I don't know. Uh, oh no, no, no. Wait, wait, but that one is. Oh, that is. That is. Yeah. I remember this now. That crack would make a good foothold. You can use Hell yeah. Fucking free out. solo snake here. You got that grip strength. We got that grip, that G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip. Let's see, what else? Uh, a lot of neon orange guys in my bag of G.I. Joes here. That doesn't make a very good camouflage. No. But it does make a flashy toy. Exactly. Oh. You never had the little G.I. Joes, the, the, the Star Wars size? I don't think so, no. I don't remember... Yeah, I don't remember playing with those much. I had a few. I mean, I had I mean, this I bag. Might... I don't know. There's like a dozen in this bag. I might have. I might have had like some, and like a whole bunch, not known that they were GI Joes. You know, right? Like we never. Well, in the '40s or '50s or whenever it was invented, it was like a big ass, like yeah. the Barbie sized yeah. doll, right? Yeah. Like Ken was basically a GI Joe. I guess, yeah. They did, I, I think they did share. The Barbie movie is out. We talked about that. You've seen Barbie and Oppenheimer, right? No, just Barbie. Just Barbie. Okay, me too. I haven't seen Oppenheimer. But, you know, I can't really talk about Barbie because I, I was really tired. Yeah. And it was really late showing. Oh. <laughs> and I fell asleep during. I saw 11 a.m. last Friday. 
Dude, that's the way to do it, man. Morning matinees are like, I love a morning. It's like ten dollars, but we got Regal Pass, so it costs nothing. And then it was. Um, I love a morning movie. My birthday is in June, so I still had my free drink and popcorn, so my concessions were free. Oh, look at that! You're June. Uh, you're a June boy. Yep. So. Uh, look at how fucking effectively we've made it in. We've roused no alarms. I don't see anybody. We gotta find the fucking most important guy. He's got a red beret on. Damn it. Yeah, the way to go is that matinee showing, Brian. You're right. Mm hmm. There's like six people in the theater. That's great for when I hoot and holler. I like to get up and I'm, I've been doing a lot of hooting and a lot of hollering in the movie theater lately. Oh, fuck you. What did you say to me? Shot in the face. Okay, that's fine. Where's your boss? I swear he's supposed to be down here. Let's see. We'll scan him. No, he's not important. Maybe he hasn't made his way down here yet, Brian. And he's going to. It's not him. Is he in one of these other bungalows? I just feel like we're wasting our time. Yeah, I don't think he's down here at all. Well, this is the fucking... This is where another guy was that I think you got from a different mission. This is, uh... This is what I read in, in our guide here. Let me, let me read it again. For S-ranking... Let me pause. Pause. This is actually a game pause, right? Okay. Yeah. So, for S rank notes, speed is the key. Choose a starting point close to one of the two commanders traveling to the meeting point. Ideally, one of the one to the north and extract him and his companions. Get the score bonus. If you can spend all four, if you can send all four back to Mother Base while they're still in the vehicle, that's even better. We just can't do that yet. Then you can gallop at full speed to the extract the second commander before he makes it to Wallow Village. So these guys and their little uh, area of travel, yeah, maybe I'm looking at the map here. It doesn't show up at the Windsock Barracks. It's actually like. A couple clicks south of the Windsock Barracks. Oh, okay. So maybe he's just like... I thought he was... Yeah, I thought he was holed up here, but maybe I gotta go catch this fool right now. Like, I'm, I'm here fucking around. Alright, let's 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 get out. And I'll I'll go check uh, my horse. Where's my horse? Subject on board. If you do the horse right, he'll be behind you. There he is. Turn the camera the way you want the horse to appear behind you. You can kind of control that. So as we come off the edge of the mountain, let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful. Yeah. You don't want to fall off the cliff. Let's check the field of movement. Let's see, they're already. Let's see. Maybe they're already meeting. This is where the meeting's supposed to take place. It's a good spot for security. Lots of visibility. You'll have to be extra cautious on your approach. Okay. Fuck it. We're gonna get just. We're gonna haul ass. Because I feel like we already waste enough time and everyone's already on their way. So I missed my opportunity. Uh. 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 Is this safe? Yeah. But hopefully all three now will just be in the same room. Toss a stun grenade in, silently take out a couple of sentries. How big is their security detail? Mother base has been making resources. I just closed out all those shields. Oh, here's a roadblock. Right, let's go down here. Whoopsie. No, you're supposed to lay down on the other side. Hey-o. 
now, will they report back to the meeting going on? Probably not, right? I should probably keep going. There's no way they're radioing to the meeting. Sometimes that'll happen, though. You remember getting yeah. into a mission, and then you get seen, and they call the mission off, and then, like, everyone scatters, and it's like, oh, fuck, I missed my opportunity to get this task because I was playing sloppy. Oh, sheep. Oh fuck, uh -oh. who's this? Hey, slow down boys. No, not that, not the Grom. There's my red brass, there's my guy. Ow, ow, ow. Ah! I got no fucking armor like I think I have. You know, I'm playing like I got level seven sneaking suit. This is a level two sneaking suit. Okay. Oh, and I have all this fucking stun grenades and shit I'm not using. Oh yeah, you should do that. Commanders are meeting at the mission is to eliminate all three. So let's see if that that seemed like them on their way out of there. Like when I got spotted at this checkpoint, they called the whole meeting off, and they were fleeing because they were hauling ass back towards me, away from that meeting spot. So here we go slow. We have no problem. Nope. Four guys, three guys. Clouds approaching. Clouds approaching. Okay, could probably haul ass now. Whoo, doggies. Okay. Cause he came hauling ass down that berm. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, they were. They were. They were evacuating. They were on their way to something. So there's a red. But I think that now that you've seen him, you know where he yeah, is. Yeah, that's that red. So now they're the red triangle. Oh, so they are coming to me. Wait a minute. Yeah, these guys right here. Well, he's still coming right at me. All right, hold on. One. That's my driver. Let me get another one in with the slow mo, please. Two. That's the guy I need. Hell yeah, I killed the last one. Sorry, fellas, but he's coming with me. Analysis complete. All right, that's one. Let's see now. No, I can't take vehicles yet. All right, you guys are dead. Sorry about that. Casualties of war. We got one. First target extracted. Good. Now for the other two. Let's see, the other two currently moving towards this village. So one of the guys is here, and that's the other guy currently going towards it. So let's just post up in the village and see what we can find. It is broad fucking daylight. I could have right. done this at night. <laughs> I don't know why I picked ASAP. Uh, yeah, it always depended on the mission. Sometimes, but I think I would do ASAP. Who'd we get? The North guys? Destro or whoever this fucking... Who's this dude? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's done. So we got two yeah. left on, on, on my, uh... My battlefield here. Now, I don't want to get spotted by some dude. Oh, yeah, let me tell the horse to, like, let it out. Oh, maybe you can't do it yet. Our bond isn't high enough. But if you leave him in the street, he will block traffic, and they'll have to get out and shoo him. Analysis so obviously, complete. it's the center Analysis building, complete. because that's just most likely where the meeting's going to take place, given the two guards I've already seen. The guards, Brian. I mean, oh, whoa! I fucking saw him through the window on accident, dude! There you go. That was... What the fuck? Oh, my God. All right. I'm one with the Fox engine today. Oh, sniper. Where are you? 
Huh. You see where that sniper is? Up there? No. Could take out their fucking communications station. Oh shit! That's too low? Come on! Fuck, I gotta leave it there. Head. Fuck, no. That's a head. Damn you. Are they gonna try to leave? Alright, here's what we do. If they leave, we blow the fucking car up. Well, there they go. They're leaving now. Okay, we're just gonna follow home, boy. And hopefully the other guy didn't turn around. Shit. We can restart. There he is. Damn. Damn, a whole fucking magazine. Come on, come on. No, please don't. Please pick up my hush puppy. Oh shit. I gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Barely. Within a thread of the life. I play it fucking loose, Brian. There you go. Drop his ass. And let's send him up. So that's two, but now our third is gonna be on the fucking run. Because the meetings got called off. So, target field of movement. I'm just gonna head here. And try to get there. Which one's the closest? 600? That's D. Whoa! Oh come on, you can make a you can make that incline. The horse is pissed off because it's getting shot. I I don't think that helps my bond. Okay, so two down. We just gotta find the third one. He's making his way back home because he's a little scaredy cat. I'm uh, sure they've alerted the other bases here. Arrived at mother base. Let's see. Has been added. Yeah. Sounds like there's yeah. going to be a lot of new stuff to develop. Yeah, you got a lot of resources. How's the chat doing, Brian? They're good. Our homies in there? Yeah, we got people discussing the, uh, you know, the gameplay, the, the constant discussion about every every summer that we play uh, Metal Gear where people try to say one is better than the other. Oh, right. It's hard to put them in like a... They're, they're their own games. Yeah, yeah. You know, you have your favorites. It also has a lot to do with like when you first played that. Yep. You know, what why your it's your favorite. first exposure to the series? Like, yeah. Where do, you, where do you start? Oh, anything from that is a variation. Like, you know, again... But the games are solid. The gameplay is good. The storytelling within the game itself, like if you've never played another Metal Gear game, um, it, again, it's almost like it's almost like Kojima didn't try to just keep making the same game over and over, which I which I always appreciated. Yeah, they used other themes and stuff like that, probably just to get their game greenlit. But it, it really feels like they tried to like tie it together just because they had to. Sure. Um, or at least that's what I feel about it. I also don't care about the games tying together that much. Like, nobody goes, yeah, Final Fantasy IV doesn't make any sense in the Final Fantasy V world. It's like, yeah, they don't take place in the same era. It's just all called Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's a franchise, and, it's, and, and these are the characters portraying it this time around. The canonimity, yeah. is that not the term, though? The canonizing, though, of, like, these stories and the Resident yeah. Evil stories... I think those are very important to a lot of the fans of the franchise, you know? And, and impressive in some ways. Yeah. Okay, we've arrived. Where's this fucking guy? We're going right, we're marching right in. I want to talk to the manager. Oh, blow that up. I want to talk to the manager, goddammit. <laughs> okay, alright. Whoa! Hey, Bessie. 
That was weird. I'm getting shotgun. Oh shit! D horse. Oh wait, is that them? No. Just got a lame hat on. Oh fuck! No oh, fuck! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. Okay. No chicken hat. Let's see, Brian, if this gave me at least the two members. Two yeah, okay. It started me right here. Only one remaining. Yeah, checkpointing is good. So it does say one remains. That's accurate. He is holed up here. That's the target's predicted field of movement. Bye. He's holed up in the main the building, of course. Okay, we got this. You have arrived at your destination. I have arrived. Alright. Get off. Get off, please. Is it triangle? There it is. Yes. <laughs> See this guy in the middle of the day. Nope. Which one which one did it first? Which one's it gonna be? There's a guy. There's a guy. Holy shit. Okay. You're gonna get fucked up. Fucked here. up again. Yeah, they got the machine guns Ooh. mounted here. Yeah, and you got two posts very aware of where you're at. And I don't know what the cover button is. Circle. Oh, I don't know. Boom. Okay. God, remember this level in Survive? Oh! Yes. Well, that was our man. I am so fucking happy. We drew him out to us. We could just Snake, do that again. Talk to me. I mean, I will try not to, but... No chicken hat. Never with the chicken hat. Not once. No. Ah. You've eliminated two of the three Soviet commanders. Ah. Man, I can taste the carne asada burrito already. I, I know, man. I'm, I'm very excited. As always. I've had several since you I've been back, you know. Being away for so long, it was like, ooh. Analysis. I waited until we got together last Wednesday for my first one, but by fucking the time this week's rolled around, I probably had another four. Damn. <laughs> I, I, I really could eat those a lot if, I, they didn't, I, I, I. if it wasn't just like... I don't know. I, I feel like it would lose... Man. Some of it's fun. Man. Yep. Oh, God. Come on out. Come on out and get me. You son of a bitch. You know where I am. I do gotta say, though, I was, um, you know, going back to movies and stuff. Um, I did enjoy the, uh, oh, fuck. Fuck that. Damn. I did enjoy how, uh, how fun the Barbie movie was. Okay. Uh, it, it didn't take its, itself too seriously. I think it like, it's gonna be one of those movies that people will watch in 10 or 15 years and be like, oh, this movie really was clever. Like it was, you know, like Mean Girls or, you know, going back further watching like Clueless or, you, you know, like okay. the movies that really were saying- It's gonna be a classic. Yeah, I think it is. Cause it, it's not just like this fluffy- What I saw was funny. I just, I, I did fall asleep so I can't like judge it. Cause yeah. I didn't see the ending or how I it mean, wrapped up. I would genuinely want to see it again. Uh, just cause I'm sure there's like a lot of subtext and other things that I missed as well. Like, yeah. but like set design, all of the I still need to made, see. it was cool. I still gotta see Oppenheimer though. Yeah, uh, that's another one. I might, I might try to see this weekend. Hey, bud. Oh, oh. I gotta go see that in the best uh, presentation. Oh, three shotgun blasts is all Snake can take. Boss, come in. Boss. Ouch. Yeah, four wolves. I was very indifferent about Barbie. It's not, it's not what um, the marketing worked very well. They, uh, they kept it very big, and, and I appreciate that, because what we ended up getting was actually a film, not a movie. Only one remaining. Be careful. Ah. You know, like they, high praise. Yeah, they no, I mean, Greta Gerwig made a great uh, decision with Margot Robbie, the, the way that they cast the movie. The, like, I tweeted when I, when I saw it, I was like, uh, you know, it actually went, it, like, it went there. 
it addressed certain topics that you wouldn't think a movie like a Barbie movie would address. Yeah, yeah. I was impressed uh, with the level of humor. It wasn't as adolescent as I was afraid of it being. Yes. It was yeah. a little goofy at times, but it was like, oh, this was like not made for children. I mean, I'm sure a lot of this stuff that if you take kids to see, it goes over their heads. Yes. But it was definitely like made for like kids who grew up playing with Barbie dolls. Well, honestly. Which was great. Great. It was great. Uh, it was a... Yeah. It, oh, I was gonna say it could work for a kid too because they're not gonna understand like the life shit. They're oh, just sure. Gonna see like, oh, Barbie has a problem. And definitely the point of the story was like yeah. very empowering. I think for little girls especially. Uh, I mean, it's I empowering it's for so anyone. Sweet. Honestly, that's what I liked about that movie. Like, yeah, I mean, here again, I fell asleep, so can't talk about it. I, I feel dumb even every time I bring something up. But yeah. Yeah. No, it's 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 definitely what you're saying. It's it's got a lot. To, it's empowering uh, for men as well. Oh yeah, you, you would say. I th I think they address a lot of stuff um, in the movie that we all feel. And that's uh, that's what a good film does. Is uh, it gives is you it, a, a, a perspective of a main character. Yeah, or or that it you can identify. Yeah, with. It, it really helps you see their their point of view as yours, and then you see that you're not that different. Um, or somebody says something that you have a hard time articulating, um, and yeah, I feel like I feel like it, it landed on a lot of those things while also being like critical of itself. So it's cool. I, I I would say again, like it's it's definitely worth um, you know giving it a, a a view if you haven't seen it. One down. I don't think I've hit the guy down here. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out again when it comes to streaming. Um, Unless Trish wants to go see it again, but I'd really like to go see Oppenheimer soon. Yep, yep. Fucking helmets, dude. These guys know. They're on to me. And my suppressor's about to fucking be out. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. How do I use this? It's fucking stun on. I mean, people have been saying, like, yeah, it's like literally end of Evangelion for, uh... <laughs> what? For Barbie. It, dude, it's weird. It gets fucking weird. Okay. Like, it, it, when I say it goes there, it fucking goes there. It goes into a weird place that you're like, they did this in a Barbie movie? Like, in a movie that's called Barbie. Not in some, like, weird existential thing, like, that they made up that's supposed to be like a Barbie-type toy. No. Barbie. Fuck, get him, get him, get him, oh, get him. Fuck yeah. Oh, you fucking don't I forgot. that kid. I forgot you could do that until, like, it was like, oh, it's already equipped. Fuck it. I've never seen that. <laughs> oh, fuck. That damn saved me from setting the alarm. Wow, that was funny as hell. I dropped like three of them, though, I think. Yeah, let me pick these up. Oh, that's cool. You can pick them back up. Subject on board. Leave yeah, it was just that. Uh, yeah, it's cool that they actually made a, a, a good film instead of just a, a shitty ass kid. What else has Greta Gerwig made? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Because I feel like uh, I like that style of movie. That style of comedy, I should say. Um, Has she done comedies before? I don't I don't know. Or is it she like did... Licorice Pizza? Was that her? No. That was uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. Oh, okay. okay. Um, oh, yo, okay. She did... So how do I use this fucking stun arm? Oh, that's right. So she... She directed and wrote Barbie. She directed and wrote Little Women and Lady Bird. Oh, I saw. I like Lady Bird. Uh, she wrote Mistress America, Francis Ha. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, and I'm trying to Snow use the White stun arm. Movie. The new Disney Snow White. What the hell? Oh, that's a new? She's writing it, but yeah. The live Ow, action. fuck me. Where's this guy with a shotgun? Tell me he's not in this room. Oh, this is my guy. That's the target. Looks like we found him. She she worked on Francis Hodgkin's this but Ooh. she didn't direct it. She just wrote it. Alright, you're disarmed. Gotta get you out of here. Mm, give me something to shoot with. I swear to God. Yeah, motherfucker. Two guys out there. These guys are gonna shoot through the window. Oh, I can't really take them out. I'm 
Fuck. Okay, go back to the stun grenade. How about this? There you go. And one outside. Oops, it Oops. went in the room. Oh, no. Hey, uh, my vision's a little blurry, and, and you I dropped, dropped dude. my guy. Where are your Mark your guys for me while we're here. Okay, let's test the theory out. Maybe we throw this dude out the front door, see if his friends blast him. Maybe some decoys. Ah. Okay, okay. Back to non lethal. They can deal with the decoy. Maybe I can sneak out and around that front door. Once we can get on that side of the wall, I can put them down. Uh, what kind of resources do these? Yeah, why not? Okay, okay, run. Here we are. Please drop him. Oh, and then... Run to the hills! I'm gonna go take out their capabilities for air support. Oh, way, ha. Oh, oh. Not what you want. Oh, my God. There I am. Is there communications? Oh, boy. I might have overshot both of those. There we go. I was just afraid you were going to run into one. My horse. The ringing in my ears. Come here, you dumb animal. Let's Run. just let's mosey. Who's still shooting? Oh, there. Everything like reset when we went under the bridge. Oh, oh, it was wild. Okay, back to. That's it, Bay Bay. Okay. What the fuck? You know, it helps when we take a little time out to read and listen. And... Mission complete. I guess it all worked out. That was horrible to get all three of those guys out. Oh, and a C. Fuck. Next time, wait for them all to come to the meeting zone, and then once you're just hidden and waiting. See, I, I don't have the patience of when I'm streaming for that. Uh -huh. Like, when I'm at home and I'm playing, like, man, I would wait. I'd set the controller down and be like, turn the volume up so I could hear this conversation. When it changes, I know the next guy is there, you know? I used yeah. to do shit like that all the time. No, I could not so wait that long. The details of the but I got all three. It seems With some save scrubbing. Too well, boss. Ugh. The Soviets have begun reinforcing the 40th Army's units in Afghanistan. Oh, no. Sending in more men. And you equipment. Not more men. Uh, let's take a call from Four Wolves. I know they've been patiently in yeah, the what's up, four waiting wolves? room. How's it going, Four Wolves? How the heck are you? Four Wolves Jones over here. Have you been watching? I watched a collision this morning. Oh, yes. From a few weeks ago. I caught blood and guts, but that was an awesome match. Oh, yeah. That was on Dynamite, though. But hey, Four Wolves, what's happening? How you been? Oh, yeah. oh, am I on the air? You're yep. on the air. Hi. Is this a prank call? Fuck. <laughs> Long time viewer, first time caller. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. This is the first time we've talked to you on the PPS? That's just how long we've seen their name in the chat. I guess so. Which is awesome. I'm yeah. glad you called in. How you doing? Doing all right. Trying to survive in this 120 degree of weather. Holy oh, my shit. God. I feel bad now complaining about our 90s. It's still hot. <laughs> that's dude. how you... That's a, how you... That you think that's hot? Jesus. Arizona's something else, man. It's something yeah, you just don't go outside, right? You just decide to yeah. put AC on. Pretty much. Which is like, that's. <laughs> see, we still go outside. That's the difference. Yeah, we gotta go outside, you know, just basically to get from one place to the other, but. 
You're in an air-conditioned vehicle while that's happening. Yeah. And then typically you're going into a building that has air conditioning. Yeah, see, San, see that's what people, like, don't get about, like, San Diego. Since the weather is good, there aren't a lot of closed structures. They just leave them open. So when it's cold, it's not like you can go inside the mall and be inside the heated, nice mall. The whole mall is open. The stores have heat. So, like, you're if it starts raining, you're cold, you're wet. When it's summer, it's hot outside, <laughs> it's fucking hot because there's no closed mall. You, you're not in an air-conditioned mall. It's the stores that we are got, air-conditioned. Yeah, we got some. You know, Parkway Plaza is closed, enclosed. Yeah. Yeah, but most of them out here, you know, your shopping malls are all open. Yeah, And, and just centers in, genu- in general. Like I thought know, it was weird when I would see in movies a school had, like, an indoor uh, yeah. campus. Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck? Your high school's indoors? That always throws me the off. The Breakfast Club freaked me out. I was yeah. like, I, I don't get it. Like, why are there roofs in your hallways? It says there's a cafeteria that's got a roof? What? Yeah. It's go out you in the quad. You don't just eat outside in the fucking grass? <laughs> and there's trash cans everywhere. It's grass. Yeah. And every bush you see, you could just shove, you know, yeah. fucking cookie wrapper in. You're no. a kid. You do what shit. What the fuck? You do some shit like that. Yeah. But, uh, four wolves, I digress. <laughs> I digress. How, uh, how's the PPS treating you? Are you enjoying the Metal Gear Summer Stream? Uh, on a hot yep. Arizona day. <laughs> yep. Have Good you guys hear. been? Uh, have either of you guys played the uh, the AW game, the Fight Forever? You know, I've got it sitting there with a bunch of my other new releases. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, like so much stuff has come out that I had pre-ordered, and then Prime Day. I had opened all these boxes. I've got all this new shit to like play with, and I just have not had time. Yep. Honestly, <laughs> the fucking dogs. And the cat. <laughs> it's something about the trifecta. Once I had like three animals, it's like I could be busy all day just playing with them and tending. Oh, them. that's that's cool. The cat gets jealous, and then I play with the cat. Then the dogs get jealous, and one's jealous. I'm playing with him, so I play with the other one. Uh, Boom, bang! I could fucking cuddle with Campion on the couch for like hours. Oh yeah, yeah. So like every night, it's like it's like it's eight o'clock. I could fire up the PS5. I need to check out Fight Forever, but uh, the dogs here. Let me just keep listening to the radio and. Let me, oh, you know what? I'll check them for fleas. I've been, you know, now that it's fucking <laughs> super hot, it's flea season. They go out in the backyard. They've been bringing in fucking, you know. I, I get done combing them. It's like two hours later. It's 1030. And yeah. it's like, wow, I got nothing done. But I got to hang out with the animals, which is kind of therapeutic in its own way. It certainly is. Oh, yeah. Yep. Unless you're being a fucking dog. dickhead. That's what I've been doing lately. My animals. Barking at other dogs and. Being a shit while you're trying to give them That'll a That'll happen. That'll happen. Motherfucker. I'm just going to commence all the platforms. And then you forget about it in 10 minutes, but it's really annoying when you're walking. Yeah, I can't get them to fucking obey me. Trisha's got to use the voice on them. Mm. The voice. <laughs> give them the mom voice. You got to use the voice. Yeah, you know the voice. I got a few ways. A few ways of making them listen. I got a few explicit reasons. <laughs> but what was the purpose of your call for, Wolves? It first time call? Uh, no purpose. Just was Please like, I was think, always thinking, oh, I should call sometime. I never have. And I was like, well, you know what? Fuck it. No Hell time yes. like the present. Oh, I forgot about the sonar. We're not even using sonar. No, you're not. I, this is why I don't want to start over. It's like, it's like as much as I want to play this game a totally different way, I don't Please want to like not have all of these items because it takes forever to develop them. Please yeah, it's not because I don't like. Oh, oh don't it's wanna... cheating. It's like no, I like. Come on, like just let's fucking give me sonar. Like don't make just me give have to me start sonar. From zero. Damn it! I did not mean to just request a drop. That's gonna cost money, but whatever. That's okay. But yeah, no, I'm well. We're glad you called in. Yeah, it's, um, four wolves. It's always ha- a, a great time just to call and say hello. Uh, yeah, you don't need a point. Uh, you can always <laughs> just drop us a line. Honestly, yeah. If you want to just call and say, we're gonna hey, get to the bottom of it with you. That's why we're, that's why we're on the air. That's why we have that uh, link in the chat. Oh, Trish, we all miss her streams. Does Trish miss her streams? That's a mouthful. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Because I've asked her several times, like, hey, you want to stream again? Like, what's yeah. up? But she's just, like, in love with her job. She just wants to work. Good for her. So, you know, she she had fun streaming when that, uh, you know, opportunity presented itself between jobs for her. Yeah. 
So she did it three days a week and pretty consistently. But then as soon as she got this new job, it was like, all right, yep. I like this. I'm doing this, which is, you know, very honorable. Yeah, that's all good. So what? Ah, but she's in the groove, she's in the rhythm, and that doesn't really leave a lot of time, especially with the dogs and uh, how much she mothers them. Man, and me being gone for so long was like a, a real pain in the ass. Oh, I know she, yeah. she goes over and stays at her dad's house for some of it, so it's just easier to manage them there. Right. He doesn't have carpet, you know, they can leave the back door open. Makes it's sense. hard with the cat, you know, because the cat can't get out or, you know, yeah. we're worried about coyotes and things, different things. So, you know, we kind of oh, play shit. it by ear. What am I doing? I'm just, like, scrolling ops, but I want to go back to... Got to give him that uh, anti-hot gear. Development. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With yeah. Needles all over it. <laughs> Dude, that's... Th certain times of the year, too, the hawks are fucking crazy out in my backyard, and I just think... Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, they would pick a little guy up Generate easy. We're not dropping the fucking Please ammo. Specify project development project has been good added. don't drop it please well thanks again for calling yeah. for wolves we'll let you go and uh we're glad you're enjoying the yeah, summer stream call, call back in any other time we'll keep going we're not done please yet tonight baby bay. we're gonna keep it rolling all right before i go can i get a please wheel spin oh a second wheel spin now brian typically we only do one a night yes i don't make the rules I mean, <laughs> I do make the rules. So what? <laughs> so the rules are as follows. You know, for wolves, they've never called in before. Long time listener, first time caller. I think the chat's on their side. Tristan says, big spinner. Yeah. Uh, Kaito Kid Shadow is saying, no spin. Oh, wow. <laughs> Stickler for the rules, Kaito Kid. <laughs> okay. Killer DLS wants a spin. Earth Crisis wants the spin. Yeah. You know what, for you? Let's, let's do a spin. Let's do a fucking spin. Bro. Let's go. Second spin. Second spin of the night. You know. I hope it's feet. I hope it is. Maybe we'll get a redemption arc. Let's hear the timpani for you. We're going to keep you on in case we need some feedback. But bear with us. There it is. Here we go, Brian. Woo! I'm ready. Almost fell on my way back here. <laughs> we got sing, sing it? it, Brian. Now sing it as you know. Features the musical stylings of myself and yourself. Oh. Uh, what is the actual? <laughs> I don't know what half of these are. So, it lands on feet so much that I don't know what the other ones are. <laughs> Caller picks a song I would kind of know. Gives me the title and artist, and I sing as much of the lyrics as I can remember. Oh, Brian, you can I help me with this okay. one. I believe we did oh, Metallica last time when we got this. Do you remember that? No. It was uh, Inter Sandman. I oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I got one. Okay. The, got their answer for me, Brian. the band's Ghost, but it's a cover of a song. Uh, it's a sin. So I don't know anything by Ghost. I'll just say right up front. Well, it's, it's a cover of another song. Oh! All right. What it's is it? It's a sin. It's what it's called. It's called it's what? It's a sin. It's, it's a, a sin. sin. Oh, by... um. Pet Shop Boys. The Pet Shop Boys. That's correct. Yeah, but okay. Ghost did a cover of it. I think I know that. That song starts out like... No, we need a little faster, I think. <laughs> right around there, Brian, I think. I can come in from the be I can't come in from the beginning, but I can come in from the middle. All right. I think that works. Let's see. Here we go, Brian. <laughs> everything I've ever done, everything I ever do, everything I ever say, it's all because of you. It's a sin. At school they taught me how to read. So full of thought and wit and tea. They didn't quite succeed. 
For everything I long to do, <laughs> no matter when or where <laughs> or who, there's one thing in common too. Here we go, Brian. Uh huh. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sin. I'm getting horny now. I'm getting horny, horny now. now. Think about. Yeah. All right. That's that qualifies. Uh, was I close, Brian? Was, uh, yeah. I think so. yeah, you were there. Thank you for calling in, Four Wolves. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you for spinning the wheel. Two wheel spins. Ow, ow. Two love tonight. No one ever it. gets two. I think this is unprecedented. It's for the MGS summer, man. We've never done that before. That was really good, honestly. Like you. Uh, Luckily, it's a song I'm familiar with. But I, you know, I don't. I don't know it pretty goes. well. Yeah, I don't know too much about their music. We talked about. I played them. that out at Anime Expo. <laughs> we, well, I was talking about them last week on uh, Video Happy Hour because I think they played. Uh, Four Wolves might have been there because somebody played the Ghost cover. Of, I know I like them. Yeah, and and it's like, oh man, yeah, this is a this is a band where they look so cool. Yeah, they do. And then the they moment they so start different. playing, they look so different. Yeah, that it's it's too jarring for my mind. It's the same thing that happens when I when I see Alice Cooper. Yeah, because I saw the shirts first. You know, I saw yeah. all, everyone wearing these Ghost shirts. Yes. And I'm like, well, this band's fucking whole thing looks cool, yeah. dude. This looks sick. It must sound awesome. And it sounds different than you'd think, you know? You expect it to just kind of be more demonic in some way or, like, sacrilegious or something. And like, it's more, like, progressive? Uh... It's Yeah, it's kind of like just straight rock and roll almost. Yeah. To, and, or, like, yeah, a little progressive, maybe even kind of uh, synthy. Or definitely synthy. Yeah, lots but, of um, synth in there. But I don't, I, I don't dislike, dislike it. it. Yeah. Exactly. I but just, I'm just not, I'm not like, you know, I'm not a big ghost. I'm not familiar. Yeah. It, it's going to take somebody kind of like talking me Please through some of their shit for me project. to understand more of it. Uh, like, if I care, or if, if someone cares to, to sure. do that, I'm, I'm down to listen to anything people want to put on. But um, but yeah, it's the same thing with Alice Cooper, where where he's talk, touted as this like evil, like oh this guy is sinister, and then you hear his music and you're like, this is just straight rock and roll. This sounds like rock and roll. Straight up rock and roll, baby. Like it, it's it's not bad. It's just I expected him to be like when you hear Black Sabbath and you hear how their sound is. Yeah. It fits how they look. Um, it really does, but maybe we heard Sabbath before we saw him, so that's why we think that. No, because I knew what Sabbath looked like before I listened to him. Because okay. I didn't listen to Sabbath until I was like almost twenty. Okay, all right. So I had already known who they were. I'd seen. The I shirts. for sure heard them first. Uh, oh, this is a fun mission, Brian. Yeah. Occupation forces. The mission tasks are as follows: secure the development plans, optional; eliminate the colonel, mandatory. Mm. Eliminate all tanks, mandatory. Oh. We can't fault them out. We got to blow these fuckers up because we're underleveled for this. Extract the colonel, optional. You can also kill him. Eliminate the colonel and all the tanks before they reach Samase Fort. Extract the personnel held at Sakura A Village and extract all tanks. That's how to S rank this sucker. But basically, we're going to start out on a path that uh, heads off the colonel and his delivery of tanks. First playthrough, destroying the truck and the two tanks with an ambush in a secluded locale away from enemies is the best way to go. If you have yet to do so, research the C4 and a rocket launcher before you begin this mission. Disregard mission task 5 entirely as you cannot complete it until you gain the Fulton upgrade. So that's saying disregard trying to extract the tanks, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah. No means, sir. Let's listen to Cause and see what he's got to say. I'm going to turn this up a bit. This Masi Laman was full of Mujahideen, the Hamid fighters. Then suddenly they disappeared overnight and the Soviets moved right in. I guess the old fort is still in good enough shape that the Soviets want to use it as is. Okay. This means that the battalion commander stationed in Sakai village, a lieutenant colonel, is moving his operations room to the fort. Word is, he's an excellent Word leader. Word is. With What's the word? Masi Fort, Soviet forces in the area will operate all the better. And according to the client's information, 
He'll be bringing a tank unit to the fort as well. We oh, don't that's know right. the redeployment we date or the route they'll take. People but there would must hire be some planning documentation. Yeah, you're being hired leaves. basically you to get you know. Yeah, this is such a like and stop the tank deployment. This is such a bastardization of the boss's will. We're fighting this proxy war for them. Actually I need to turn that down again. Oh, sorry. I'll let you do it. Yeah, somewhere around here. It really is, now that you mention that, it is a nation where soldiers are free. But it is, yeah, proxy war in another country. It's a bastardization of the boss's will. Yeah, the boss is about fighting fighting for something that you believe in. This is fighting because somebody else believes in it and they pay you. Yeah. Holy hell, look how far off this is. Delamase. Let's ship ourselves. Can we ship ourselves? Fuck, I don't know if I've gotten this shipping location yet. Uh, probably the... There's probably a shipping location here already, right? There's a dumpster. Enemies predicted field of movement. They already lost my ass. Fuck them. Let's cut through. Because look how far away we are. It's like 3,000 kilometers. I didn't realize, like, we weren't taking that mission from the AAC where we could drop in. We were taking it from across the fucking battlefield. We're on the other side of Afghanistan, baby. Oh, that's an all clear. Oh, that's an all clear. We should really go back to base, too, because we brought D-Dog home. Even before the mission, now that I'm remembering, there's a story mission where, like, the mother gets killed. And that little D-Dog, like, you rescue, you rescue him. It's, like, more emotional. But we just kind of found uh, him and brought him home. So I wonder if we don't get that cutscene now? I don't know. I, I, I seriously don't remember half the shit. This is early stages of the game. Right. We were, oh, so into the late stage. It's kind of like capitalism. I'm into the late stage version, but I didn't really pay attention in the beginning. No, it's not my Analysis culture. Complete. Can I ship myself from here, please? Analysis complete. You guys got any goodies? Complete. Five? Five? Five bros? Let's see, let's see. Oh, what's that? That's a toilet. Is that the shipping station? I don't think they show up on the map, actually. Until yeah. you've got yeah. them. Oh, but they've got a... Here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just... We're gonna save this POW. Okay. Then we're gonna get back in the helicopter, and we're gonna fucking take this mission closer. Oh, look. Oh, shit. Let me get a Enemy thing to, like, distract detected. them. The map has been updated. Who just pulled up? Some more goons for me to kill? Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Who else? Go take a look at this. Oh, I only. Oh, fuck, I'm out of them. Shit, that didn't last long. Okay, they see it. Are they gonna go for it? It'll put them on alert if I throw a grenade to get these two for one, right? But it won't necessarily point the location that I'm in out to them. Right between them. Got them both? No. Only got one. Only got the one. Huh. Sad. Kind of sad, Brian. A little sad. I'm fucking sad. We're gonna crawl. Where's my POW now? Ooh, ooh, who they shoot now? Whoa, hey buddy! Let's see, drop your arm. Perfect. Okay. Time to rock and roll.
You're lucky. Talk. He's lucky. Okay. Did they execute the POW? Like, I don't know why he's not showing up in this little hut anymore. I don't know. Maybe he's knocked out. Fucking excited. sandstorm. All right, here we go. Oh, I need to learn how to use this. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? It just spun. Oh, you have to hold it down longer. Okay. 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 40% chance. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Where is he? Okay, well, the green triangle's gone. So I don't know where the... Uh, I don't know where the POW is. Let's see. Can I get there in time? Spark it up, baby. Spark it up. Get him. Get him. Fuck him. Get the second guy. Yeah. There you go. I love go. CQC. Who, who's left? He's busy on the phone. How does he not hear that? I don't. Well, why isn't it going off either? Does it have to recharge? Probably. Do it, Gordon. Oh, fuck off. All right, I'm taking these guys. I don't know where their POW went though. That was weird. Oh, who's this? Oh, that's me. <laughs> the fucking stand. Oh, the decoy. The standing decoy got my ass. You oh, you're waking up? Oof. Eat concrete. One more for Mother Base. He's coming too. Gonna get you back Roger home that. too. You're back to sleep. Now post captured. Just so no one's asking any questions. Let's make it look like uh, an attack. See Ooh, is that a, a diamond? Oh, you see one? Behind you? Yeah. Where? Underneath the table. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Brian. Raking in the money here. Oh, you can't go in there. No. Damn, I swear they had a green triangle here. Like... Maybe he disappeared? Oh, you know what? We just developed night vision goggles. Level two. Maybe I'll see his ass like he ran off during all the commotion. Oh yeah, like the hobbits. Sometimes that'll happen, right? Like the, they'll Maybe fucking run time? away and like hide up in the hills. I don't know. I don't know, fuck him. Well the... Oh wait, no, that's me that's, again. That's your horse, isn't it? My horse is definitely over there. Let's go for a drive. Just get in. Triangle. I mean, I'm pressing it, but I don't want to fault him. There we go. But no, I was more yelling at the game. <laughs> I saw you pressing. Wait. Isn't there a hut? Right over there? Yeah, maybe there right is. Do you think he ran in here? It's possible. Hey, get out. Knock, knock. Hey, bud. Hey, anybody here? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Well, I will say the game's kind of barren. You only have so many things to interact with at Outpost. Get in. There we go. Oh, we're still 2,000 kilometers away. I wonder what's faster, the horse or the car? I'm gonna go car. You think? Exact, extract the little lost sheep, that's a side mission. Development complete. We're certainly gonna come across. Um, also though, I'm gonna look for a place to mail myself. 
yeah. at this next village. Extraction Stick myself in a box, activation. see what comes of it. Okay, and right on the outskirts of town should be a spotlight. Well, that's not a good sign. Cool. Oh, I laid down. It didn't work. Uh-oh. Oh, I've definitely found the shipment area here. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Uh-oh. She's hissing. She's leaking fuel. She's a hissing. We got this. We got this. We've just got to make it to the next checkpoint. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're making our way. There. Oops! Oh fuck, dude! Shouldn't be on your cell phone while you're driving, kids. That's a number one way to run over a sheep. You know, no one wants to splatter a, a, a little. What do you call a, a female sheep? A you? No one wants you blood splattered up onto the front of your military all-terrain vehicle. A little Soviet blood never hurt. What am I doing? I'm showing them my fucking fancy arm. You're dead. Who else wants some? You? You're done. Outpost captured. Just like that. Lickety split. But I got the blood of a dead burning. I got the loss of life because of some sheep jumped into the road in front of me. God damn it. Kaz is going to be pissed. He that one too. Kaz loves the animals. Okay, now we're getting closer. We ditched the vehicle because, you know, they know I'm driving it. It's kind of like lowering your stars in GTA. You want to ditch the vehicle that the Soviets know you're riding. Yeah. yeah. Or driving into the map. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, these are the barracks. We can bypass this. There is a shipment area that I know of here. However, throw out some night vision. However, uh, we have to have got the shipment area tagged where I want to go as well as this one here. And I don't know that we've done that yet. But it's worth a shot. Let's find out. How heavily guarded is this outpost at night? Certainly. Whoa, whoa. Certainly. One guy? No guys. It's a fucking ghost town every time we come here. That's the that's the shipping station. Oh. Let's see. They might just still be wiped out from the last time you were here. These fucking guys. Oh, there's someone. Analysis complete. I'm not even gonna fuck with them. Let's see, do we already check in here? Yes. Let's go with the box. Oh man, it's X'd out. Wait, now it's not when I held it down. Interesting. Right, again. Here we go. Okay. It was weird. Oh fuck, nothing up here. So it's basically there, Eastern Communications Tower, the Windsock Barracks, Supply Outpost. Is that available to me? I don't even know. No, I only have one option so far in the game. Oh, that sucks. Right? I mean, you're still early. Yeah, oh, no, wait. We do have the Yono, Yoko Obo Supply Outpost. I mean, I'm already as close as I can get. So we just want to keep going. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Oh wait, let me do, I, I want to run around in the box and slide. Let me hit this fucking hill real, oh wait, wait. Yeah, there's the slide mechanic. Let me hit this hill right here and boom. Alright, that was worth it. 
I love how that disappears. Yeah. Uh, God, hearing all these sounds again. And let's keep on keeping on, as Sam Porter Bridges likes to say. Uh, let's see. Turn, head straight up. It's not as far as I thought. Uh-oh, check this out. Fuck. I fucked up. I fucked it up. Well, I guess I didn't set it off. The alert detection. I was just gonna give him a rocket right up the Jaxi. But... I guess they uh, live to patrol another day. Those fucking lucky ducks. Lucky they didn't see you. Lucky, yeah. Fucking... Badass boss of the battlefield. Okay, where are we going now? Oh, see, I wanted to turn up there. We gotta go around this whole fucking mountain. Oi, oi. We hang a right. You know. The local uh, population is only represented in cutscenes. Like, there's no NPCs that are just like not, you know, enemy combatants in this game. Like, all the villagers are like pushed out of their locations, and like you see them in the camps, yeah, where like Skullface is like kind of like. Uh, uh, har harvesting his Wolbachia, you know, where everyone's all hooked up to the audio recorder or right. audio tapes. And then you see, like, the child soldiers and certain people, like, training them in that city in those cutscenes. But you never, like, interact with, like, the Afghani people, like, you know, running their farms or, like, living in war torn countryside. Oh, they saw me. Big whoop. I hope when we get clear and near to the starting point, it'll refresh. No, but it won't. We just took the mission. It's not going to refresh our gear. I have to call for a supply drop. Okay, we're coming up on something good, though. Mission start point. Oh, so maybe it will replenish us when we get to the start point. It's a stupid way to get here. We should have just bounced back to the chopper, then taken the mission. Yeah. But at this point, we got to see the countryside. Maybe. I think you can still bounce back to the chopper. I think I can too. If you hit just return to ACC from the menu instead of uh, extract out. Well, you have to call the chopper. Analysis no, I think complete. there's a button in like. The oh yeah, we were menu. talking about this, and I've yeah. never done it before. So where is that? Uh, I think it's when you hit. Oh, in this pause menu. Yeah. Return to ACC. Yeah. Yeah, but then you lose all progress. Oh, I are believe. you? Oh, okay. Uh, you would do that to go back out of a mission? Well, yeah, to start. If I was in between missions, yeah. Rather, rather than start the mission oh. down there, it still counted as being out. I would always just call the chopper, wait for it to come pick me up. Oh yeah, no, I'd return to ACC, and then it would still keep me on this map, because calling the chopper sometimes uh, doesn't keep you on the map, and then I would just choose what area to land on. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And that helped. Uh, save with load times and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's like essentially fast traveling, like yeah. you said. That's cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I've made it this far, but yeah, I do like that idea. I mean, that was late game shit. Like, yeah. at the beginning, I rode everywhere and drove everywhere because I wanted to see the whole map. But in late game, to avoid being in the back of a truck or, you know, whatever, that's yeah. what I would do. Yeah. Okay, we're still making it. I keep feeling like it's that 250 kilometers. It's just 
getting farther and farther away, or meters, I should say. Hey, yeah. Enemy Who's down there? The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Damn. Here we are. I don't even have to get Any off my horse. The map has been updated. Oh, we're gonna hold report. to sick bay on the new medical platform. Staff who come back with wounds, diseases, or PTSD can be treated there. Okay. If we need any other platforms, feel free to issue the construction order from your eye droid. Hey, aye, aye, Captain Cause. We'll do that. Ooh. Do it, defecate command is now available. Yes. Take it's all, shit. That's all I wanted. Hey, guy, pervert. That's all I wanted was to do it. Not like the execute order 66 do it, but do like, it. like uh, you know, relieve yourself by all means. Talk to people on the tour that when we played and got this cutscene for the first time a couple weeks ago, they had said, like, as long as they've played this game, they've never gotten those cutscenes. Which they, one? The one we just saw. Oh. Where you start a mission from the ground. Oh. That's so funny. So I'm glad that we were, like, showing off stuff that even though this game has been played inside and out for yep. hours and hours at a time, like, oh, there's shit I'm sure it's always stuff. Seen. Yeah, always stuff. This mission has two objectives. Two. Eliminate the colonel scheduled to take up a post at Smasi Fort and stop the deployment of his tank unit. Okay. Your first move should be to head to Sakai Village and search for the colonel and his deployment plans. Marker placed. I know for a fact that one of the tanks. Oh fuck, dude, the Nosorog. Oh boy, dude. Yeah. It even sounds scary. Yeah. But I know one of the tanks. Uh. That's the village where the target is stationed. Get near the hot zone. You should start your search there. Whoa, whoa. Who sees me? Oh, this asshole. I can't see. Shoot the fucking light out. Oh man. Let's fucking botch that whole thing. Hold on, let's try this again. Woo! <laughs> Gotta start that over again. Oh, Jesus Christ, horse. Sorry. Didn't mean right into it. Try to jump right up your ass. Okay. First move should be to head to Sakai Village and search for the Colonel and his deployment plans. The colonel and his deployment plans. I know where they're gonna meet. They're gonna meet here. I've done this mission a hundred times. Cause you used to extract a shit ton of money for getting like all four of these tanks. Oh yeah. And then I figured out how to way to grind it and I would do it real fast. That's this mission? Yeah. I believe it is. Damn. I remember doing that and selling the tanks as well. Let's duck. Yeah. Let's get off. Let's get off the horse, please, Snake. Oh my God. The map has been updated. Well, he didn't see. He did not see me, at least. Uh oh. Why are you facing me, buddy? He didn't see that hand. I heard a noise just now. As soon as he gets off the radio, I mean, you can see whole, yeah, but I, then it'll go like, Dimitri, come in. That would be funny. Though. So it's better if they're off. Bye, Dimitri. With the tactical takedown and the slide. The Soviets confiscate homes and occupy them as needed. If you want to find a colonel. I check the biggest houses in the village. Check the biggest house in the village for the colonel? Aye aye. Aye aye, Kazuhira. Which one's it gonna be? Analysis complete. There's an asshole. There's another one. Analysis complete. Biggest house. I mean 
It's like that one in the middle, right? That's where the kernel is. But aren't we going to... I guess there's two-part plan, right? They're driving up the tanks from the south. Or they're trying to get to the fort. Where's the fort? Maybe this is the fort. Boom. Boom. I want to just get the B first. Yeah, fuck, fuck. Remove that marker, please. We'll come back to this village for the, the old chief in his ivory tower. Let's see, is this the right freeway? Yeah. The right highway, as it were. Brian, you guys have been playing uh, some stuff outside of the PPS. You guys, I mean by you and Frank, the big dogs. Oh yeah. I saw you're personally playing, is it Final Fantasy? Yeah, Final Fantasy 15. Yeah. Uh, but what are you and Frank up to? Caution. They just beat Symphony of the Night and Rondo of the Blood. Oh, okay. Of Blood. Dude, that reminds me. We wanted to talk about the announced Game Boy Advance <laughs> Zelda games. Oh, yeah. Uh, game Boy Color. Oh, those are Game Boy Color. Not yeah, Advance. Oracle Damn. of Seasons and Ages. Now, I've not played those, so I was yeah. like... Okay, that's cool, but you seem to be pretty excited. Yeah, I still have the parts. Those games were fun. I never played Zelda on portables. It's so funny. Like, I stuck to console versions, Yeah. and I never fucking even touched a portable. Oh, really? Unless it was a port of the, like, NES one on Game Boy Advance or something. You know, like, I just never did. Those were kind of like Pokemon where they had like, uh, thankfully, it wasn't two of the exact same games with different collectibles. Oh, that's how Pokemon Red and Blue ran. Right? Yeah, but it was like Oracle of Ages was red, uh, Seasons was blue, or vice versa. Um, and then they had crossover. So, you, whichever game you played first, you would carry your oh, items that's cool. over to the next game, and then back again to do like certain missions that were only there. So it's like, I've never done them together. I did ages back when it came out and then I did seasons on DS, but I never did the crossover thing. That's interesting. So now you have a chance to, it's gonna be on Switch? Yeah. Through uh, the Game Boy. Uh, the emulator? Yeah. That okay, so you gotta have that, that premium package? Yep. The premium tier. But I mean, if you have. I don't know. If you have a phone, you should. Not that way. If you have a family plan, it's, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I just don't have time to play the games I'm buying. Yeah. Let alone now, I don't want to pay a subscription service to emulate games that I'm never going to get to. Um, that being said, like, if it was, like, a huge game for me, or a full of seasons, and. What was the other one? Oracle of Shadows? No. Uh, ages. Ages. A Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons. If those were, like, huge for me, like, yo, I would consider, like, well, damn, I have to play these. I'm going to get the subscription service. Yeah. But I've just never had anything that was, like, a must-play for me on those lists yet. Not mm -hmm. yet. Not yet for me. You get some perks, but you're not playing a lot of Nintendo games anyway, so... I mean, I'm barely back at... Like, I didn't... I thought I'd take Zelda with me on the tour, and, like, I didn't open it once. Yeah. Zelda's, like, something I need to be at home and playing on my big screen. I don't like ever playing... I, I, I didn't play any of Breath of the Wild on a portable ever. Right. Um, you know... Well, you could. I didn't have it, right? <laughs> but I don't do that now, and I, I that's why I never rebought it for the Switch, because it's like, I need to play that Zelda game, like, in my living room with my surround sound on a big TV. In the van, I would play, like, Puzzle Bobble, or, like, a, you know, something small, something uh, easy to play in a moving vehicle. Oh, look at these Analysis dumbasses. Complete. Yeah, I play it uh, both depending on where I'm at. With like the book, um, Rocco beat Zelda on portable mode, like in the hotel. Yeah, and that blew me away because I just like I can't imagine doing that. I mean, they have some sweeping moments, but it, yeah, I don't know. It's not like 
not like an Uncharted game or Last of Us where... Like, I mean, it's something I gotta get over. It's definitely, like, my thing. Yeah. But I just find it interesting that... No, I used to have the same approach where I, it's I like, just I don't wanna play get... this on the handheld, I wanna yeah. play this on my TV. But it works so well on the handheld that I can sneak time in in between. But, it, but yeah, if I'm doing, like, main story beats, then I kinda try to, like, be near a TV. But that's yeah. just... That's what's nice, is that those those you know when you're getting into, so you just avoid them. Smash his face. Boom. So those uh, Zelda games, are they already out, or were they just announced? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, so, oh, wow. Yeah. They are good with those announcements being, like, really short time. Mm -hmm. That's fucking cool. That guy's still screaming. Oh, and the best resource ever, you know, Flame material the most sought after of all the resources yeah what did we do to grind more fire I you would just go I, I think we would try to go to places that had the uh, the conex containers of fly of the of the fi of flame no, material right that's why we would hide in the back of the truck because it could produce oh, mother base enough. would produce enough as the clock went on yeah, yeah. what who who? Where? Over there? Oh, he's toast. You're ah. toast, dude. You're toast. Did we not? That wasn't enough? Oh, I should get in and use it. Fuck. Hold on. Second thought. Oh, fuck, dude. I think I oh, done. I, yeah. I did too much damage already, though. This thing's on its last leg. I already threw two grenades uh, out. All the vehicles you can get in this game are ridiculous. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, buddy. So, the auto cannon. Damn. I don't remember exactly, oops, what the objective was now. Let's go back and see our mission. Secure the deployment plans. Eliminate the colonel. Eliminate all tanks. Well, damn. I thought all the tanks were going to come through. This isn't the mission I thought it was, too, Brian, where we would uh, put the horse in the middle of the road and then extract, like, five tanks in a row. Yeah. That was a good grinding mission. This is definitely not it. We've already started. Oops. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That didn't hurt me very much. I'm trying to blow this up, see if it counts as one of the four tanks. Too far and we're out damn what else we got c4 and maybe we continue this mission again next week oh, there it is now it's on fire i was going to resort to grom usage but we don't have to i don't think that counts several outposts in the area and now he's got his sights set on Smossy Ford. and he's over all reports say he's a formidable soldier here be careful yeah they want to get to the Samase fort but they're all currently leaving here maybe maybe we should have played by the game's guide and got the intel there. first you know what I mean yeah I mean, I'm just thinking we average one mission a week. It's not going to get done by Halloween. You know what no. I mean? No, it's not. So I want to push it and get, like, try to get, like, fucking two at least here. But uh, if I'm not playing properly, like, <laughs> it's hard. It takes a long time to get a mission done if I'm, like, jacking around, you know? Like, all day today, we've been fucking taking some good calls, but I have been, like, writing across 
Afghanistan instead of taking the ACC. Yep. And thank you for being so patient with me, Brian. That's all good. I do... I do have... No, I don't have a, another Discord caller to get to tonight. I think we've tackled everyone who called in. Mm -hmm. Two wheel spins, I can't complain. Special. But we are at, oh my god, over the two hour moment. Enemy detected. Brian and I don't get a carne asada burrito soon. We're gonna turn into a pumpkin. Hey, what's up? It's me. It's me. I love that it does Donna Burke's voice in slow motion when you're going through reflex mode, like whatever she just said. I know it does. Whoa, whoa! All right, off the horse, dude. Let's find this colonel. Um, let's do some confusion. Oh shit, we can we can blow this up. My horse does not like the smoke. Let's do a Grom blast. Excuse me, horse. That's taken care of. You destroyed their anti-air radar? It wasn't one of the targets, but that's put a hole in their air surveillance. The chopper will be able to get in close now. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost. Perfect. Gets me out of this shithole faster, right? Yeah. That's here's why I here's did three that. all partnered up. He barely saw me. Oh, they opened fire anyway. Hey, hey, hey. Hey now. Okay, alright. All hell's raining down. Is that guy? Is there, am I getting shot from behind? Yeah, I am. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, fucking Granada. Let's crawl up the stairs here. My favorite resource. I think if we find the intel first, that'll give us the location. Can't do it. Can't do it while they're on alert. All right, well, we'll, we'll, hide in a box. let's hide in a box and let's smoke a cigar. What was that? Primary weapon ammo. No one saw me come in here, guys. Give me, give me some, I can't smoke indoors? I think they just call it off. No. Call it off, boys. Launching the rocket into their aircraft, uh, trailer didn't help with my anonymity. It's weird that I can't use a cigar. Cannot be used on FOB missions, but why can't it be used right now? Because I'm still under alert? Maybe. Oh. Maybe they're about to drop it. Commencing... There we go. Thank God. Uh, I did walk right into the front door with my horse. You know. Whatever works. I just wanted to. Get, I wanted to get there. I want to make some progress tonight. Okay, we've scanned in. Intel file obtained. Extraction arrived at Mother We know. Info has been updated. Fuck. Map has been There's updated. three here. 
Boss, that document you just got is the deployment plans for the Smasi Fort reinforcements. According to the plans, the Colonel is supposed to join up with the tank unit of Waxin Barracks, and then proceed to Smasi Fort. Those tanks being on the move doesn't make things easy. Does not. Hurry, Boss. I've sent tank units route to your eye droid. This is not an easy task now. Look at this fucking idiot. Put your hands up, fool. Where are your friends? Where are the others? Okay. You know what? You're coming with me. How far away? 800 kilometers? Or meters? Just gotta get within blasting range with this Grom. Hey oh shit, they're getting close. I got a top vantage. Leave the rest to us. Shit. Oh man. Got ya. Damn, he ain't gonna raise the alert with that either. Okay, so on the road. Are they gonna come right by me? Yeah. Say we just take them out here. They're gonna come right down that route, I believe. Yes. And I'll Around just fucking bend. post up. Let me get the D horse on this. Come here, buddy. Hopefully, I got enough time to position you right here. And a new presence. And suck it. Alright, you guys stay there. There's a mounted gun. This is nice. That's, that's decent. Horse is gonna stop him. About to see him engage. Let me go in this alcove, then I'm protected from whoever's coming around. Oh, oh, not nah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa, what are they doing? Who's getting fucking jiggy with it early? Oh, I should have put C4 down. I fucked that all up. Okay. What are they shooting at? Oh, no. They hit my horse? You dumb son of a bitch. How dare you? Uh-oh. Fuck. Holy shit. Oh, shit is right. Ouch. Fucking son of a bitch. Snake, How could they shoot me. at my goddamn Snake, horse? So they just no. ran him right over. Ran him right over. So I guess because the CP was alarm was raised. Okay, still got a thousand meters on. That didn't work out. Let's really snooker him here. We're gonna give him uh give him a taste of their own medicine. We're gonna lay down a bunch of C4 and some mines. Definitely do a better job this time. One in the back, two in the back. That's all I need. No, no, no. Fall asleep, dude. You get two in your back. There he goes. Good night. Good night. What do I got here? I got decoys. That'll definitely stop them. Stop them one after another. Okay, what else? Mines? Yes, Brian, I believe so. Oh, yeah. Lay down them claymores. Several in between here. Oh, fucking hate to see it. What was that? <laughs> that explosion? You heard nothing. Oh, they're right up there, too. 
Okay, I'm gonna drop some C4. C4, do not run in front of it. Oh, that's it. Okay. See, the problem is they take off so fast once they get close. Yeah. Let me bring D-Horse over here, too. Yeah, 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 buddy. Just come stand right there. Yep, perfect. I'm going to get down. Let's equip the C4 so I can pop them at the right time. Oh, they're blowing my shit up. Which might detonate the C4 on its own. And it definitely wasted those mines. Yeah. Interesting how they're gonna act. Fuck, if I could get up there and like, sneak in. Okay, here they come. I wonder when I should pop the first C4. It's a good tactic to have them paused there. Okay, they got two escorts now. Ah oh, shit, here's these two assholes. Okay, fuck, I gotta do, I gotta pop some C4 first. Wait. Can't see anything. Oh, too far up. Alright, drop time. Oops, that was totally a miss. Fucking asshole. What a dumb shit. Oh, I'm gonna take one to the chest. Dodge. Oh, that fucking 50 millimeter. Not good. Not good. We got one. Hey guys. We got one. Snake. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So they pause. I'm trying to think how we can fucking get these guys with the guns that I have. I've sent the tank units route to your right. Because I don't really have a big you know, arsenal to get these fucking guys right now. Oh, uh, shit. Which one saw me? Sorry, dude. Oh, 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 fuck. Go back. Oh, go back, please. No. It's over. How do I do this? Why can't I do this? There we go. Checkpoint. Oh, okay. Without alerting anybody... We can't fault in the tanks. We have to get all three of these. Well, it's a two tanks and a truck, right? Gotta start using I grenades as well. I think I have like right. eight grenades. What are you thinking, Brian? Uh, Is this a... Or am I biting off more than I can chew? Do you do we need a bounce? Or are we going for three hours tonight? <laughs> That's up, up to you. Their air supports can. These two dudes are down. Finally, my suppressor lasts a little longer on this thing. You gotta extract him. Ooh. Sorry, bud. Hopefully your comrades didn't hear. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to just blow up the first tank. And I'll do it with a good vantage point, only using the C4 and the mines. Oh, you dumbass. God damn it. I don't have any fucking mines now.
Stop trying to take a fucking screenshot. <laughs> I'm gonna accidentally slip and rage quit. Let's see. I've sent the tank units route to your right droid. Yeah, send me the route. Get off of this fucking hillside. That's two, he'll go down. Just like that. Hey, what's up, partner? Oh, he's so far away. Hey, hey, look at that. Well done. What are you looking at? You see nothing? What, one guy down here now? Okay. So let me place the C4 first. I only have four. No, I only have three of them. Coming too. Roger that. One here, one there, and one there. And then the mines carefully. What is going on? One, two. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Three, four, please back up. Okay. So hopefully they come. They don't see this shit. They're 470 meters away. I'm gonna get into a box behind this berm, and then once that happens. It's time to pop out of the box and hit him with the fucking grom. Like there you so. Go. Just like that. There you go. But now it's a waiting game. And if this one don't work, fuck it, man. Let me see here. Secure the deployment plans. Eliminate the colonel, eliminate all tank. Fuck, the colonel's in the truck. The tanks are just also part of the mission. So it's really like, eliminate or kill every last one of these motherfuckers. That's how we're passing this mission. We're looking for the good news from Kazuhira to get the fuck out of there. Here's my setup. You can see behind that rock. It's definitely gonna take out the first tank. Boom! It's already on fire, that was a wasted shot. Should have gone straight to the second. Come on, dude. Get up and reload it. Don't take a direct hit. Oh! No! Ho -ho! Okay. We had one of them down. No chicken hats. We had the truck down, I believe, as well. Uh, so, two out of three ain't bad. How can I get out here faster? Can I go, like, down the hill to them as well? Fuck these guys. I don't even care if they see me, right? Except for maybe that one dude down there. There's more than one. There's a bunch of guys. Holy shit. This isn't the way. Oh boy. This is not the way. We gotta be quiet. Hey, we quit gotta sneak around. Down. Snake? Oh. Snake! Let's see. I've sent the tank units route to your right droid. Oh yeah, there's no dudes this way. Let's 
so that's the quiet way down. It's just this guy to take care of. Well, he's on patrol. Fuck him. I thought this was a good spot. Those two will hit eventually. C4. One. Two. Three. That's it. I only have three. Now. There he goes. He's going down. Directional mines. One. Two, three, four, five. What would be interesting to try is seeing if the directional mines work for the first tank, and then you can delayed hit the C4 for the backward, oh, the back yeah. tank. Uh, who the fuck is this? Oh, it's you. Wait. I didn't knock you out. I knocked your friend out. One in the neck, two, you'll go down in a sec. One in the neck and two, you'll go down in a sec. That's what I always say. Hey guys. I always say that. I'm always known for saying that. <laughs> he thinks it's funny, this guy. This Not fucking, this fucking guy's about to fall asleep. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. That was in PT, I guess, right? Yeah. Sound of the bag. I could do something if I want. And then, I saw me walking in front of myself. But, it wasn't really me. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. Oh. The gap in the door, Brian. Oh, man. Famously. Uh-oh, they found a dead dude. That's not good. They woke him up. Fuck. Well, chaos ensues. Let's just bring another guy into the chaos. Shit, I forgot. We should have hit that body. Okay, here we go. Here we go. With the truck closely behind. They're down. They're exploded. The truck's gonna go now. No! What is that? The fucking trank! Shot a fucking trank! Trying to blow a fucking truck up with a trank? Okay, the truck is down. That guy escaped. One for this guy. Fuck him. Give me another. Reloading. Maybe it's only two. Take all the slow-mo I can get. Okay, another reload. Shit, why are these guys running? I need him. Oh! Yeah. Fuck! Direct uh, <laughs> Direct hit! Pervert. That was fucking crazy. God damn. No chicken hat. Uh. First playthrough. Destroying the truck and the two tanks with an ambush in a secluded locale away from enemies is the best way to go. If you have yet to do so, research the C4 explosives and the rocket launcher. We got all the necessary ingredients. Now I am going to try timing the two blasts. So let's just run along the top here. Get out my... Nope. Let's put the C4 down first. Oh! Who is that? Him, right? Sorry, bud. <laughs> you see his helmet fly off first? Yeah. So sad when that happens. I was like, 
Okay, he's down there now. Back to the fucking C4 drop. So it's kind of like the second tank when the fucking C4 should hit would be like right here. I'm guessing. Now the directional mines, I want to put right where the first tank hits. Boom. Do that like here. One. Oof. Don't walk forward, please. Two. Three. Fuck, dude. Four. Just get these on the ground, please. If he shoots one of them, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, he's getting on the fucking gun? Not anymore. Not anymore, bud. Okay, these car... These <laughs> tanks are speeding up. I'm gonna get the, the... The... The detonator out for the C4. So hopefully I can hit this back... Tank at the right time. I wish I had a higher vantage. It's basically here and there. Are they shooting at me already? Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna try to just do it without seeing. When the first explosion comes on the first tank, hopefully the second tank's gonna be right behind it so here we go first tank pop second tank pop i definitely got fuck i definitely got the truck oh god damn it no i can't go up against them with this fucking low armor man damn quit kidding around working snake not working at all and I can't see. I sent the tank units route to your right droid. Fuck me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone sees me. I'm just doing fucking tempo in front of this guy. I know it's great. Sorry, sir. So, actually, let's press forward with the horse. Further down the road. Further, further down. Let's see. And they're going to be coming fast because they have been alerted, I'm sure. Maybe this is a good spot. I can at least see. Uh, maybe I bought myself some time. So, C4 first. One, two, three. Let's go directional mines. And hopefully the horse just moves out of the way. One, two, Three. Wow, I really got close to that one. Four. Five. Okay. Hide behind this rock. Here, we're ready to roll. I'm curious if they'll shoot the horse or just run him over. Like you did, they did last time. <laughs> Probably run them over. I know, right? Fuck, this guy talks too much. CP, CP. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, they stopped. They stopped at the fucking village, so that's interesting. Don't walk in front of those. Plant expansion complete. Check that out. 
They're just like posted up. There's the target. I wonder why. I don't think that's part of the mission that they stop here. I think they're trying to get to this base. There's the target. Yeah, I need him to fucking come to me. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. God damn it. We're gonna be here all night. Huh. How's the chat doing, by the way? Good chilling. DP music, Kaito Kid Shadow. Good to see you in there. Why they fucking Maybe they'll resume. Four Wolves says, we chillin'. Oh. Gonna eat some oh, cereal and play Tears of the Kingdom. They are moving again? Yeah. Nice. Let's see if we can lure them here. Let's see, where'd I put all my stuff? Did I already pass it? Can't fucking find it now. Great, it's not on my map. Oh, there they are. So, I wonder if I put this guy beyond it. Boom. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I have a higher vantage point here, which is great. The horse should stop them and then maybe when the front tank hits the mines the back tank will be perfectly lined up to those C4s here's hoping maybe I can blast off I can peep from up here here they come Have a good view down there C4 ports okay all I gotta do is see the C4. The directional mines will take care of themselves when they hit them. Come on, baby. This and triangle are my detonator. Okay. Successful. Perfect. Perfect. Where's the last tank? Fuck. Now eliminate those tags, boss. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, no more grenades left. Fuck it. Give him smoke. Reloading. Oh, wait. They're going? What happened? No! Damn it. Damn it is right. The first boss? tank didn't go down. No chicken hat, goddammit. Okay, the first tank didn't go down. What's the fastest way to get this fucking done? I just gotta go down into that valley. I've sent the tank units route to your right droid. Oh, look, we started down here now, finally. Oh, good. Thank God. Um, let me see. Let me do a little recon. How fast they're moving. How many guys have we got down here on patrol? Can I take them out in this valley? That's pretty fucking close. I only have enough, t I gotta have enough time to place everything. Uno, wait, come on. Oh, I'm out? Wait, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm out of everything? So I start with nothing. How does that happen? Uh, because it checkpointed me after everything blew up. I guess. Oh. I'm just gonna lay down here, see if the horse stops him. That's a negative. Oh, 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 it did. Snake in the grass. Boom! Oh, I missed! Fucking A. See how fast this takes. Reload and reflex. I'm just curious if it's gonna be two tanks. 
two two rocket blasts? No, it's three. It's it's at least three. Hey, quit kidding around. Okay, no chicken Snake. hat. I wonder if I can Snake. call in for no. There's not enough time to call in for more ammo. Yeah. So it just checkpointed me, but it fucked me. It checkpointed me with no ammo <laughs> and no chance of getting out of this now. Um. We could call it airstrike. That's something I never did. Fire support. Oh yeah. Bombardment. Please select a strike point. I'm gonna say. Right the fuck strike here. Requested. I don't know. Uh, how long does this take? It cost me nine thou. Is it gonna happen in the right time? Oh no. Strike will commence shortly. Well fuck it better. Everyone slow down. <laughs> I can't believe it checkpointed me with no C4 and no fucking mines. Yeah. So there's two shots. I just wanna see if I can get like three shots if that'll blow them up. That's three shots on. I'm barely alive. And it's still alive. Here's fucking not four. Yeah. Dude, and they killed D Dog or D Horse. So what? Uh I Boss mean the coming. game fucked me, so Boss. I'm not gonna keep playing it. No, I think we have to restart the mission. I do. And I'm not gonna keep going tonight because we're already at two and a half hours. Fuck. Damn. We're already at almost three fucking hours. So unfortunately. You have to come back. I got checkpointed with no You'll be back. Fucking stats. I know, but at the progress that we're going in this game, oh man, it's not gonna get done by the time it's time to play Resident Evil 7 or uh, 8. Ooh, yeah. Whatever we're playing. Whatever we're playing. This Halloween. Uh, you know, we got Red Brass done. That is a fun mission and has many different ways you can play it. So yeah, I'm glad we focused on that. But Occupation Forces, mission 8. Just gonna have to wait until we can get back to it. It's going to wait. I could, I could use a shower. Damn. Yeah. We could also use a return to mother base. We'll have to remember to do that yes. next time we start the game because I know that D-Dog cutscene is going to happen uh, as well as some other fun stuff. But before I forget, you got to check out what we're putting up over at shop.mega64.com. That's right, the anime merch drop is live already. Please do check it out if you want to be rocking the new threads. Uh, don't forget, you know, Brian and I are two handsome devils. Never forget that. But don't forget that we are done with the East Coast tour. Done with Comic-Con. But the West Coast tickets are still for sale. If you want to see us live and on stage, if you want to see why there's a blow-up doll in the show, if you want to find out the answers to these questions and more, make sure you come out to the West Coast version of the show. I'm looking for the dates. There they are, baby. San Francisco, Sacramento, Portland, Seattle, Vancouver, Salt Lake City, Denver, Phoenix, and Los Angeles all still available. Damn. You got a chance to come see us. Ooh, yeah. You're not going to want to miss it. Go to that site. Get that ticket. So what? You're going to want to go to that site. You're going to click so the ticket. What? You're going to want to get it, and you're going to want to sign up for a VIP even, Brian. What the fuck? There's even a VIP option if you didn't know that. That's awesome. All right, I've kept you here long enough. It's burrito time. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We sure do love you. We'll see you next time. Next We continue week. some more Metal Gear, uh, and hopefully we make better progress. Yeah. We'll see you later. Sure do love you. Yep, 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 yep.
Thank <laughs> you. 